He's got it! Hey, look what we're streaming. Yeah! Yeah, we're totally, we're gonna play some Pokemon <laughs> Moon. For Sun Moon, motherfuckers! This is gonna be how to, here, where's the volume? <laughs> this is how we play it. Yeah, this is how I'm, I'm gonna hold it, like this. There we go, centered. Perfectly, this is gonna be YouTube quality footage. Oh my gosh. Right up there. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so let's uh, let's ignore go the start. Ignore the task bar. I'm, I'm the interested bottom. in getting the fire type myself. That seems pretty cool. All right, hey, we got audio. Yeah. <laughs> you. We should get the the Pokemon that evolves to Okada, and then uh, into a, a Yukata. Okada. Oh. Kazuchi Kuk. Huh? I W G D P G P champion. I New Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh, okay. So you had to explain the Rainmaker. Okay, no, we're actually playing. No, we're not. We're not doing that shit. Sorry, guys. Much as we want to stream it, love to. We uh, need like two hundred dollars of equipment to do it. We're streaming on a budget, so instead we're gonna play regular Pokemon. We're gonna play games from twenty years ago because that's all we can afford. <laughs> free. <laughs> we can afford free. <laughs> that's our budget, yes, sir. <laughs> Like, it's like it's like a fucking Tiny Tim was a streamer. Good oh, evening, that, yeah. everyone. I thought you meant the singer. No. Wait, there's a singer named Tiny Tim. Yeah. When? In the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a oh, wonderful him. time. Okay, yeah. Now that's a very apt. Uh... I'd love to see him stream. I oh uh, yeah. Am I controlling both? No. No. Okay, we're good. We're good. So uh, last time, I don't even know. Oops. Yep. I'm. Uh, You're sure doing it. Is it working? Oh, that's right. I configured it to the left bumper. I keep forgetting I did that. You can set set it to both. Do you need to change it? No, I'm good. All right. So you just got Dream Eater. Yeah. Meaning, hopefully, your Gengar can be useful. <laughs> don't, don't put it like that, man. More useful. So, I am going through just like trainer areas, and I think the only gym, the only thing I have left is the eighth gym, so. Oh, yeah, I already put it on there, good. I might just go right there. I don't know if I'm gonna worry about the, uh. All the trainers on that one route. That's my bad situation. Uh. You need to clean out the rocket place, then you need to beat some. Oh, right, I haven't beat Blame. Oh, that's right, I haven't, I haven't beaten the Team Rocket yet. Yeah, so you gotta do that in Sabrina. All right, all right. Let's fly over to uh to one of the two places. All right. Oh. But um. Hey, look, Edge Jack. Advantage. Keep going. <laughs> all right. Nice! What's the biker gonna use? The suspense is killing me. Forgot oh, where the Silfco building was for a second. Yeah. Ended up finding a mansion. In Cinnabar? No! The other mansion! 
What other mansion? It's, it, uh, it's Celadon. Oh, the, like, the skyscraper? Yeah, the one With Game like, Freak in it? Is, is that who they are? Yeah, meta. Oh, yeah. Did you get your Eevee? Fuck! I forgot it! Whatever. I'm going to... So, it, your party's complete, right? You got all Pretty the ones much. you plan to have in your final? Quit messing with us, kid. Oh no, this kid is a thorn in our side. He's taking down an entire mafia single-handedly. Remember, kids, you too can fight the mafia. Yeah. Lessons from Pokemon. I started thinking about this recently. I I wonder what the uh, if anyone has ever, ever like delved into a Pokemon timeline. Pokemon timeline? Like canonically, the order the games take place in. I'd imagine for the most part they're sequential, but people have called X and Y like a soft reboot. So I don't. It's like alternate continuity or something, like in branching timelines. I don't know what happens in X and Y, so I don't know if there's something special about them or not. Why are they called X and Y? Like, is, there, like, is it like it has to do with the genome? It's about math. I really? No, they just needed they needed <laughs> names. The legendary. <laughs> they make it about math. They need names like. They just needed a new duality. Fractal Pokemon. That'd be pretty cool. The two legendaries in X and Y, their gimmicks are uh, life and death. So it's like oh. the spirit of life and the spirit of death. Oh, the Pokemon of the beginning and the Pokemon of the end? Yeah, well, life and death specifically. Because uh, there's... The life Pokemon is literally the forest spirit from Princess Mononoke. Okay. <laughs> oh, so it walks and plants grow where it hopes... Yeah. It's got the face of a monkey. And the giant antlers. Oh, and it transforms into a shadow creature. I don't know about that, but I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't put it past him. i put you to sleep and then suck your soul out. Like a succubus. Yeah. Let's do it. Woo! Oh, no! <laughs> nope, ghost doesn't affect normal. Oh, but it, it, that didn't work on that either. Fuck it. You're confused! What move didn't work on it? Hypnosis. Oh no, that's just, you missed. Uh, well, this will, this will keep it busy. No, no! Didn't affect it! So, going through them, red and blue... It's a psychic type! What the fuck's going on? There we go! Hypnosis is not high accuracy. Uh, it's like 75% maybe. Red and blue didn't have like, token legendaries for each version. They were just the first ones. Ah. Gold and Silver had Lugia and Ho-Oh, which were just, like, tower keepers. They weren't gods or anything. <laughs> yeah, the the first, po the first like, legendaries were, like, like, just birds. Just really powerful birds. Birds and then fetus cat. <laughs> Who was, you know, theorized to be an ancestor then of all And then son of Phoenix Cat. Yeah, Fe not Phoenix, Fetus. Fetus Cat, sorry. I was thinking of Ho-Ho. Yeah, then, the, the, that's, that's Mew 3 is Gygus. <laughs> Have you seen Mew's sprite in the original Japanese green? No! It looks very much like a fetus. Oh, okay, this, that makes sense then. I mean, it, and Back considering- the art style is more fucked up. And considering it's supposed to be like the ancestor of all Pokemon, it does make sense. Yeah. But, uh... I support Team Rocket more than I support Silk. Okay. And I was like, coat? I support Team Rocket more than I support my wife! <laughs> At least Jesse puts out... Golden Silver were Ho-Oh and Lugia. Then Red, uh, Ruby and Sapphire were the ones that introduced, you know, the... The God Legendaries. You know, the, the Behemoth and Leviathan. Oh, yeah. The land Pokemon and the sea Pokemon, so yes. that was that was a little one more extravagant. in which it's ultra super hyper legendary Pokemon was like literally a virus from outer space. Yeah, I mean, if you're counting that one. Gen 4 yeah. was uh, time and space, and literally God. <laughs> time, space, God. That's where they kind of hit their pinnacle. They, yeah, they, they, Arceus is, I think, the name of that Pokemon. Or yeah, Arceus. Arceus. And to the point where from that point on, like, Pokemon Fanon had, like, people praying to it, like, instead of God, it's, oh, Arceus! Yeah. 
Which a lot of people apparently found like, oh fuck you! That kind of reaction. Yeah. Like, really? Who flies? Yachiru flies. Okay. So that was that was kind of the pinnacle. I did they weren't gonna go. At that point, I would be surprised if they could, like, go higher than that. How do you go higher than a Pokemon who's literally God? How do you uh, top yourself? Well, they did. The generation after that was black and white, and that was, like, the yin and yang Pokemon. Oh, like, we represent all of darkness, we represent all light. Oh, they, they, they're going into, like, morality now. we moved on to abstractions. <laughs> yes! <laughs> We've so, run out of things in the physical world to... Now we go to the existential world. Yes! <laughs> and then after that was life and death. You goddamn it! And then after that... Is the sun and the moon. We're on the celestial bodies. Now, now we're... Now we're... And then... And the kind of abominations. Kind of moving back to Earth a little bit. Well, you know, just wonder. It's all about wonder. So, for, you know... I like, think, what was creation? What has to creation? You know, those, those kind of things happen. So, and then there's the next gen, who we oh, don't... Oh, no, I'm poisoned. If there's gonna be a next gen, I mean, the Switch came out, but Nintendo has supposedly said that that will not replace the handheld systems. Hmm. Porting Sun and Moon to, uh, the Switch, maybe? That's been talked about. Apparently, this is some bizarre news, and this may not be good for the Switch. More people have bought copies of, like... Breath of the Wild that they have actual Switch consoles. Oh god, are the scalpers back? Oh god. <laughs> I mean, Breath of the isn't Breath of the Wild also on Wii U? I think it's on both. I, uh, yeah, but like, yeah, it's still not good news. Yeah, all uh, all five Wii U owners bought a copy. Oh man, I don't have enough. It's funny because the Wii U did terrible. Sadly, I, Sadly. I, want consoles, I want consoles to do better. It had like, a lot of good games on it, the Wii U. They just went under the radar because of a very shitty start for the system. Kind of like the Switch is having. You know, with its all one launch titles. All one good launch title. One whole game. It has other good titles, just and not it's any like, that... And before it's like Zelda, which like last time, like, bri like bridged... The gap between generations. Yeah. Like with fucking GameCube and Wii. And I told you about uh, Snipper Clips. It's a really good looking game that was launched on the Wii U. It's just not. It's not a Zelda or a Star Fox or a Mario. Yeah. Wii U didn't really have a Star. It had Star Fox Zero, which was shitty Star Fox. Yeah. What was Assault? Was that Star the Wii? Star Fox Assault was uh, GameCube. Oh. I believe so. That was the one. That came out after Star Fox Adventures, where they tried to switch up genres and make it like Zelda. Oh, and right. And the fans collectively said, Are you fucking kidding me? At least, it, at least he got lots of crystal exposure. Yeah. yeah. Like, like camera, crystals... camera time, I mean. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking... Yeah, they introduced Crystal, which was like a boon for the community, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, right. She originated in that game, didn't she? Yeah. The Japanese creators don't like her, though. <laughs> like... Your phone's going off. Oh, fuck. So who's calling? I'll be right back! Everybody gets one. right now. This is awesome! That was my dad. Check it out, man! I'm doing wielding! Oh, dang it. Oh, did you heal my Pokemon? Yeah. Okay, cool. Huh. 
Uh, dang it. Like, I wanted to talk to him more, but we're in the middle of a recording. I wish I, like, remembered to call him. I don't call my dad often enough. You can call him tonight. I'm a terrible person! I told him that, but... I still... He still was like, Well, okay, I love you, and I'm like... I, I feel like a horrible person! I'd rather play video games and talk to my dad. What does it say about me? Why? Well, you made a commitment. <laughs> it's good to always, keep your commitment. Always the rationalist. Zellbrock. I mean, if you were in a phone call with your dad, I wouldn't walk in. Hey, man, you want to go play a video game? Fuck your dad, right? <laughs> no, I'd let you finish your call. Fair enough. Alright, I was on level four. I'm gonna put Gengar up front, because I'm gonna just pray that the Hypnosis Dream Eater combination can get me through a great majority of this fucking place. The old, uh, one-two? Yeah. Is there someone you need to level, particularly? What's, like, Slowpoke at? Uh, 30. They're all around 30. Yeah. And... Focus... I'm on... I'm already on it, never mind. It's a carry. What's up with you? Work for Sylph, what should I do? Uh... Stand there and do nothing. That's yeah. the best possible action yeah, in this easy, scenario. That's easy. You seem to be doing well with that, buddy. Good luck to you! Just stand there and let a child save your life. Or your company, anyway. Capitalism, go! It's not smart to pick a fight with Team Rocket! What the fuck are you gonna do about it? I wasted your Pokémon. We study Pokéball technology on this floor! This is totally related, except for the fact that he does a bunch of Pokémon videos, but, uh... I saw that Dorkly recently put out a video titled, Why John Wick is the Raddest Movie Ever. Yeah! I, I knew somebody would agree with me! So I thought you'd like that. I love... I, I, I do really enjoy the movie John Wick. It is one of the greatest action movies. Fully using the medium of, like, visual recording. Yeah. Alright, time to eat your dream. It's a that weird noise. Really... Oh, he's still alive! And he's still asleep! Its power in, like, the Sun Moon is, I think, a hundred for Dream Eater. I'm not sure what it is here. Oh, gosh. But, uh... I'm not gonna bother with that big, long route of trainers right now. Maybe later I might go back to it, but I'm just gonna go for the fire dude. Alright. Go to sleep. Go to sleep! Just, just, you know, just, there you go, take a snooze! Alright, Inception time! That's almost like the Inception sound effect, too. <laughs> hey, that's cool, 31. Create the world in of the dream. We bring the Pokemon into the dream. What are you doing? Where'd you go? Grabbing my cheat sheet. Cheat sheet? Cheat sheet? <laughs> no, why? Well, it's got my it's got my party on it. Your party? Yeah. I I have devious plans. Wait, what? You woke up? I guess so. Something about your soda? This may have gone bad. I'll need to switch it out. doesn't want to go to sleep! He's an insomniac! I didn't plan for this! Isn't that like an ability type that Pokemon can have? In, yeah, when, when they know? when they introduce abilities, there are Pokemon who can't be put to sleep. When do they introduce abilities? Third generation? I think so. Which is weird because they actually introduced abilities before they introduced the... They're confused. Before they introduced the whole, uh, you know, regular attack versus special attack being... Um, on a move-by-move -move basis. Uh, 
Alright, I'm draining you. Fuck it. They were still, uh... Oh, no. They were still totally based on the type of the move in Gen 3. Ah. I might actually be at a be at a bit of a disadvantage come Gen 2 because I like to use Dark Type teams, and the Dark Type was really shitty in Gen 2. Oh god! <laughs> they just it was its sole existence in Gen 2 was counter to Psychic. Yeah, but the thing is, for some ungodly reason, they made Dark a special type, even though. Pretty, the vast majority of dark type Pokemon have higher attack than special attack, and every dark move in the game is a physically hitting move, like bite. So it still didn't work. No, it's stupid. <laughs> so dumb. It is very dumb. God. Man, Pokemon really hit its stride in third generation. Yeah. I guess. Do I have any rock type? No. Okay. I'll sit out my strongest one. Oh, it's just that thing? Well, goodbye. Slash all those crits. <laughs> That's so great. Pretty much. Too bad it doesn't. I don't. Does it, has it been fixed in Gen 2? Yes. Okay. It's only this generation that uh, critical hits are based on speed, and the formula makes it so that uh, any Pokemon that's fast enough pretty much always critical hits. Man. Should've gave Slash to Persian. Persian will learn Slash. Okay, and then it'll become unstoppable. Yes, it will. Persian always crits on Slash, and it's also the same type of attack boost. So it's like, what, 70 times 1.5... 105 damage, 210 damage attack every time you use it. <laughs> and defense piercing. Alright, Corn, you're in. Man, I should name I should name I should name Aloha version uh Corin. But it's like it's not white. Just because it's got like the round face. Well, to be fair to Corin, he wasn't necessarily white in the original uh manga. Well, he we was don't. A different color. Was he? Yeah, he wasn't. Have you I, I, have you seen him? I, I read it in trivia, and I may have seen a picture. Okay, I wonder what he was. Do you think he was like a tabby? I. Yeah, I, I think he may have been blue. It'd be weird. It, it would be weird. I'm used to seeing corn as this like mystical like white fur cat, but. Is it actually like fucking. There's actually a color to <laughs> Oh, Cooper level up. So, speaking of uh, Yuka Lily. Were we speaking of that? Well, a while ago. But... Yeah, I mentioned that I had put it on my wish list for uh, Steam for whenever it does go on sale. So, so the voice act, the original voice actor for uh, Yuka Lily. For like a, a, a character in ukulele, I don't know which one. Yeah. But uh, one of the or, or is it Trouser Snake? No. Oh, uh, okay. The guy who was going to be a voice actor was uh, John Tron. Yeah. And uh, and he was removed from the project after he made some unfortunate comments on like his YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of sucks. I don't know the exact content, so I have no right to judge the man. But other people are like calling him a Nazi now, and I'm like, oh okay, oh, okay. That's, okay. that's interesting. It's a little extreme, but whatever. I don't know, maybe the comments were that extreme. Again, I have no right to judge because I don't know exactly what he said. Yeah. So I'm just going to say that's rough, buddy, and leave it at that. How did we get up? Hey, my girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. I made some... I made some... No, he was... I made some comments that were misconstrued as racist. That's rough, buddy. Just do it. Can we make that a meme? Can we just post, like, bad things being talked about in other series and then cut to Zuko saying, That's rough, buddy. That, that should be a... <laughs> just, just like, my, 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 my mother was murdered, my sister was crippled, and we're political exiles. That's rough, buddy. I was just thinking about Code Geass. <laughs> I knew you were! It's your favorite series. 
The whole damn world's about to end, to end, all because of a goddamn puppy! That's real funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what else? Uh. My, me and my family were having a picnic. They were all gunned down. Now I kill criminals indiscriminately as revenge. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> I still don't like myself. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you just suck then. <laughs> That's a rough funny. Boogie Pop Phantom sucks. <laughs> the first episode. Are, are, are we officially going on record and saying that Boogie Pop the Phantom was The first episode that we watched. Boogie Pop Phantom was boring as shit. Nothing happened. Not quite as bad as <laughs> Tekken. Right open with a girl saying she didn't like herself and ended with a girl saying she still didn't like herself. You've made no progress. It wasn't quite as bad as Technolize's first episode, but they were both pretty bad. <laughs> Technolize's first episode had a total of, like, three lines! Of dialogue, yes. That's so weird! It was just slow shots! Which, you know, lack of dialogue can work, as we've seen in Samurai Jack, as long as shit's happening on the screen. Yeah, it's like... It's not all just dark, slow shots of nothing. And, like... Is he fast asleep? He's asleep this time! I keep hitting Dream Eater without... Confirming that he stays asleep. Yeah. I end up fucking myself. There we go. Yeah, I healed! Okay, it doesn't matter I take little damage because even when I'm like... When I get hit, Dream Eater replenishes health, so... Yeah. Weaponized Night Terrors. There's a Gen 4 Pokemon whose whole entire gimmick is that. Weaponized Night Terrors? Yeah. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Darkrai, the Nightmare Pokemon. Oh! Oh, literally, uh... He has a move that puts, uh, even in double battles, it puts both foes to sleep. His natural ability causes damage over time to sleeping opponents. <laughs> he can learn a move that causes more damage over time to sleeping opponents. And presumably he also has Dream Eater. So it's just sleep food. So, uh, you think we went in a fight between him and Nightmare Moon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Self destruct, that's a good one I want to teach to someone. Good news, permadeath's no longer a thing. Yeah. No, it's not gonna be worth it anymore. Uh. Get rid of all those. Bunch of useless TMs I can sell for money I don't need. So I just realized what? that the corner and the big and the, the, the slow poke. No, that's not really a cat though. Fuck it. Yeah. Well, yeah, slow poke's more like a little bear fella. Kinda, I guess. A happy little bear. This is a bear that's literally like a guy who's just happy to be there. Imagine if you could sell your bicycle. Just instantly fill up your uh, money supply. <laughs> Apparently, it's in such high demand, nobody's like it making them. The you market's know, just. You try to sell it to the shop. I can't put a price on that. It's like the guy at the chocolate shop who's telling Charlie to run home with a ticket. Don't sell it to anyone. Like that's so valuable, you can't put a price on it. <laughs> it's gold the ticket. God. Misty's 80 years old, still following Ash around, waiting for him to pay her no, back. No, no wonder she was. I was about to say, no wonder she was so pissed that her bike got wrecked. God damn it! They're so rare. Oh, okay, bye.
Granny Zelrog this time. Ah. Uh. Drowsy being the strongest to resist three meter at like three hits. Yeah. Well, it's not very effective. It's psychic type. Ah. Uh. Well, that's the only like real offensive move I have with uh, Drowsy. Yeah, Mega Drain. Oh yeah. Could have just used that too. Oh, and it's normal. Uh, what was I doing? I need to. Oh Anything right. Anything that, that's like stronger against psychics, probably what? not. Uh, I mean anything that hits hard physically is good. A normal type. Okay. Or rock. I am a hypnosis master. I stare into your eyes and look blur you into sleep, and then I eat you. That's my predatorial attack. Yeah, well, I got claws. Ah, still survived. I still do not have. I need a. I need PP ups. I don't, where, where the PP ups at? So I keep. Uh, I gotta sell my escape ropes. I'm. Uh, I'm now used to sun and moon, where dig no longer exists, and I actually need to keep escape ropes on me. Oh man. Wait, they got rid of- oh yeah, they got rid of all the, uh, HMs like that because, uh- all the field moves. Yeah. That ended up making it less, uh, convenient to go everywhere. Well, it- it's great for all purposes except for, uh- Wait, can I sleep here? Yeah, talk to the nurse lady. Oh. Uh, awesome! I don't need to leave anymore! Yeah. You look what tired. What am I on? Number 10, I think it is. Okay, floor 10 is medical area. Got it. So no, it's nice that they have the ride Pokemon at least insofar as you don't need to keep an HM slave on your team anymore, which is great. The downside is that there's no longer Dig is the one that was kind of good that you can't use anymore. Fortunately, you have escape ropes. Yeah, just gotta keep a supply of those. And also, infinite bag space. That's good. I hate that mechanic where it's like, oh, you got limited. Up. Although. Given the memory limitations of the Game Boy, it was probably justified. Oh, I'm sure. In that, a oh, week. Can't. We're already. <laughs> the fucking Game Boy cartridge just. They shove all this shit onto, like, what, 5 megabytes? It's very impressive. It's very, very poorly coded games, but uh, it, considering it, how much gameplay there is, it's red and blue are impressive. It's a fucking game that's held together with string. Blue and prayer. But holy crap, there's a lot of it. Red and blue are basically giant Katamari balls. They're barely held together, but they're fucking huge. God. And if you and if you move in the wrong in the ways it doesn't want you to go, rather than just halting, it fucking it fucking sums up Eldritch Abominations as the game deep dreams itself into a coma. Yeah. They, did that guy just that guy just strafed in Pokemon. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> See what I fucking mean? <laughs> Who's he about to bring out? Uh. <laughs> Can I bite that? I don't think I want to. I'll just Wash try to away the out. poison. No, it didn't work. Oh, he just hit me. He didn't use any of his bullshit. Oh, <laughs> bite the Grimer. <laughs> you don't know where he's been. Cat just vomits after that. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna take it down. No, Burger doesn't need Swift. I'm Swift enough already. Yeah, let's keep, let's go. I have to avoid making Burger British, or he turns into Kuratsuchi. <laughs> oh, They're very Bur similar voices. Burger? Burter. Okay, Burter, not the Bur fastest in the universe, Burter. But I thought you were talking about Cheeseburger for a second. No. Like, that's a very obscure wrestler. That's gonna be the next, uh, Pokemon generation, is, is Hot Dog and Hamburger version. <laughs> oh no, the franchise wars have begun! Taco Bell is the only- that's the- that's Taco the Bell's the director's cut, Taco version. <laughs> the third game. <laughs> it's a, it's a Pokemon- it's just- it's like that show where it's Pokemon, except it's food. <laughs> Sir Dumpling! Oh, I forgot to put him to sleep first! What the fuck? Iron. Oh. So, all these attacks are failing right now. There we go. 
If you get the Dream Eater, it'll be super effective. He's fast. I set him up for the Dream Eater! He's on the ropes! It's a critical hit! Ah, uh, down he goes! Down he goes! One, two... Boo! We hate you, Gengar! You're a dirty know-nothing! I, I, I told you about the time Roman Reigns got jumped on TV, right? Uh... Like, no, that's not in storyline. You're not talking about the time, the, the, the ambulance thing. Yeah, I, oh, I, I told you about that. Alright. Yeah. Dang it. I wonder if say that story on stream. Oh, wait, they found Mew in South America. <laughs> South America? Oh, Brazil? Which apparently exists in Pokey Earth. Wait, where, where did you see that? On the... there, I found some notes in the Cinnabar lab. South America! Somewhere in Kato the Kato Joho! It's South America. Somewhere in the Pokey Earth is South America. What did they call America in black and white? What did uh, that become? It was an area based on America. It was, uh... Yeah, everything's based on somewhere else. They don't actually exist except for Cinnabar lab notes, which I'm convinced are like... I think it was Unova was the New York that... Okay. I know between black and white and X and Y, there was the... Uh-oh! Where the fuck did you come from? One of the regions was Kalos and one was Unova, but I haven't played either of those games, so I don't know which is which. Are you ready, Jack? I don't know. Who are you sending out first? Pidgeot. Oh, bird. He likes to open with his bird. Oh, whoops, I just flashed the lab. Oh, he's like four levels above me, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I might want to switch. Yeah, this isn't gonna work out so well. Yeah, have electric or uh, anything? Fuck, I only got the cats and the ghosts and the- Oh, the fire Maybe Gen- Genma's probably your strongest. Or one close to- Dragon Guard is my- is legitimately my strongest. Oh, he slapped me with his fucking wing! You have a Charizard that can't even fly! Fuck. Bitch, I've been the yellow version. Oh, you should use fly. Work. fly is 90 damage. I guess Slash does always crit, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wonder how Pokemon Red and Blue are just, like, looking at it, Charizard having fly going, Nah, I'm okay with this. Yeah. Someone fucked up there, right? Yeah, someone fucked up. Oh, don't poi- Why are you so vulnerable to poison, Puff? Ah! Oh no, I'm scared! I missed. The little dog growled why, at me. Why did I miss the fl- Ah! It's smart! Alright, that's it. I was gonna hit you. And, of course, I don't have any antidotes. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Good thing I've got cat drugs! Time to take some drugs! Catnip, you mean? Yeah. Exactly what I meant. Let's do it! You think that cats in, Ari in Aristocats were high on catnip? They're just taking that, the catnip dins. Yeah. That was ba that was around the same time period as opium dins. Yeah. That could have been a totally a joke if. If Disney had balls. <laughs> I mean, they were totally fine making a horribly racist cat, but... Yeah, but no, referencing the opium problems of the fucking 50s? Can't do that. What? Oh, no, not the 50s, 20s. No, not even the 20s, the 1900s. I don't remember when it took place. It was like Victorian Aristocats, wasn't it? No, you totally had opium dens in Victorian times. Yeah. It was an extremely big problem. Just people getting high all the time in these dens. Not leaving and getting into debt to these Chinese dudes. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with China, it's just a thing that happened. I can't wait for Puff to evolve because, uh, Dragonair kinda sucks. And Dratini really sucks. They're not they're not Magikarp bad, but it takes not, so long to get them to a useful state. They don't got any limbs! They can't do anything. Snorlax just lifts them and flails them around. I'm a free some grass. Yo, look at that. Snorlax be whipping that Dratini around. That's awesome! <laughs> no, he put me to sleep! I don't, I don't remember how that video went. Snorlax um, is fucking awesome. 
Snorlax fuck Yo, Snorlax fucking owns in this motherfucking movie. Alright, let's dig out again, cause the dragon can't stand the air, it's all poison and shit. Oh, I can't breathe. Bro, <laughs> And my my skin is burning. Let me just. Can I just go? Oh fucking Christ! Hope you weren't planning to move first. You still got Ember. You can. No, you gonna switch? I was paralyzed. So? What? Are, what? Wait, reflect? Oh no! Ah oh, shit! Oh, that, that was enough. I don't know if crits pierce the barriers or not. At least Gimba involved. Oh god, oh fuck it. No, I'm not. I'll just go for a slash. That'll one-shot him. He's gonna go first, though. Ah! Ah, you're full health. I got a Doken! <laughs> oh, oh, he survived! Oh shit, he did! Give him another! FUCKING CHRIST! He de must heal, desperate, <laughs> desperate, just slash again, yeah. Yeah. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Okay. There we go. One more! I leveled up! Yay! 38, what do I get? Nothing. No nope! What, the Blastoise? Yeah. Or, oh, that's- he's asleep. Oh, fuck it. Nah, he'll wake up in time. What's Blastoise gonna do? Level 40 versus level 30 something. Do you have- you still don't have the Poke Flute or any Awakening? No. I put away the Poke Flute. STUPIDLY! Arch. Is the I end. mean, if he gets really low and wakes up, you could rest. Ice doesn't have any effect against water. Does it's it? weak against water. You'd want to use headbutt. I'm not gonna outrace him. You could rest. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Then at least you know it's only gonna last exactly two turns. Water gun? He just sprayed water on you. Yeah! Full heal, motherfucker! Now we wait. <laughs> Hide! <laughs> oh, Quick! Shit! He's oh, full health again! I'm not prepared for this, man! He's... I woke up! Hey, bud! Hey, bud! Always winning this damage race. Fuck. You st level forty still knows bubble. Yeah, they had water gun. Fuck water gun, right? I want bubble beam and uh, hydro cannon now. That's... Did it? Huzzah! Genma's a lower level, but Snorlax is absurdly strong stat wise. Yeah. Don't. Well, Jack! Don't use Thunder Wave. Okay, Supersonic. Slightly less annoying. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four trainer I just lost to! <laughs> I'm too good for you! I went easy! You're trash! You're not even good at this game! <laughs> I went easy! It's like this guy. Like, imagine Frieza at the very end of, like, the Namekian battle. The world's coming apart. He's been split in half. He lost an arm. He's, there's no over him. He just turns Goku and goes, I was going easy on you. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> Dude, like, like, Frieza at the very end of it, it was satisfying because he's like, he's just like, Oh shit, I fucked up, don't kill me, but no, there he's just like, ah, 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 I, you didn't even see my full power. You're not good at fighting, you're weak. I'm only at 50%. Is that because you're cut in half? <laughs> well, good luck to you. 
Hey, at least he's wishing us luck, right? You know what? Blue is less hateable if uh, you think of him like Hercule. You're just lucky I didn't use my full power on you. But he somehow beat the Elite Four, so he is kind of like Hercule. Alright, what floor is this? He's good, you're just better. Yeah. Uh, just keep going up. You'll recognize when you hit the... Okay, you use the elevator, you fat fuck. <laughs> I'm just trying to get uh, healed. My Pokemon are in rough shape. The two of them can't even fight. No, actually, one of them can't I even think fight. it's ten. It is... It should be ten. Uh, don't be confused, Puff. You can tell by the trees? It's not ten. It's not ten! Fuck. Okay. Welcome to floor 10! So good of you to come! It's almost at the top, I know that. It's like 10 it's or 11 or something. 11, then. Oh, it's only got the one! You can recognize what floor it is because if you go to the left, there's a single tile hall going down to the beds. Uh. Thank you, White Mage, with 672 health to spare. Fighting type doesn't work, or big doesn't work. Right, whatever. Psychic. You got a psychic move. You can, you, can, you can take this guy. Critical hit. Is that all you've got? Okay, now. Here I come. I'm going to attack. Take. Big uses confusion. He shows his he shows Machoke soda drinker pro. And this had enough yet, bitch. Oh, you attacked me. Well, I'm going to attack you now. I only just felt your first move. That was my strongest attack. Do you give up? Guess so. Slowpoke. Slow I have. I wasn't even trying. It's so adorable. Slowpoke is God. I actually used a slowpoke throughout the start of my Sun Moon run, and it didn't do me much good. Slowpoke was a lot. Was at his best in Gen One. One special stat was one uh, stat. Hold on. Another one. It's phone call night. Oh, come on! It's my one day off! Give me a second. Hello? Just uh, go ahead and put sun butt out front here. Come on! Okay, paralyzed. Poison is the most annoying thing in this game. I should carry more antidotes. I need to get more. But I won't because I'm lazy and stingy with my infinite money. <laughs> they try to bring you in? They try! <laughs> on your one day off of the week. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so weird. Uh, Alright. You run that place. No, I don't. I don't run that place! No. I, I work there, and I try to be the best employee I can. Oh, I ran out of items! What'd I get? Can you toss something? I think that's a good one, too. I think that's, uh, Earthquake. Was that? Uh, Rare Candies. I got a lot of Rare Candies. You got- Oh, you- Do you have two- You have two slots of Rare Candies. Yeah. Let's toss those seven. I'll use them. Okay. That works, too. Alright, who wants their steroids? Give it to me, boss. <laughs> like five hours later, he's fighting like a Pokemon. I can feel them kick in. 
So do you think, uh... Where can these Razor Pokemon's level? Do you think they make Psychic Pokemon smarter? Big is trying to learn Water Gun! O okay. What's his special at? His, wow, his attack's actually higher than his special. Interesting. So a headbutt would be more useful. He's then. got Surf. You don't need Water Gun. Yeah. No! No. Yes. All right, more steroids. Well, basically, my boss told me not to take any more shifts. Yeah. So. And you're taking so many that you're nearing overtime. Yeah. Steroids for everyone. Your Gengar does need some uh, some better attack moves, though. All right, Gengar, what do you? I don't know if I don't know if he learns any, or if you might if you get any good TMs for him later. Sorry, I'm grinding right now. That's fine. I will I will myself be doing another set of grinding once I get a PP up, but I have not found my PP up. Wait, PP up? That does that increase maximum PP for a move? Yes. Oh man. So How many moves do I have? I don't think you have any. I haven't oh. found any yet. Shit, once I get that, it'll be all over! When I find one, I'll let you know where I found it. I know they're in this game. How much does it increase it by? One or five? One. One? So it's 15, 16. Well, no, it depends on the move. Okay. It increases it by 20%, one fifth of its regular, original maximum. Alright, that makes sense. And you can increase it up to 160. So, a move that can be used five times increases to a maximum of eight. And a move that can be used 15 times increases to a maximum of 24, I think? Uh. Trying to learn Body Slam! Oh, oh that's a good one. What do I got? I got Headbutt, Amnesia, Rest, and Ice Beam. You can get rid of Headbutt or Amnesia, I guess. Headbutt's... Headbutt makes them flinch, but only if you move first. And Snorlax is not known for his rapid speed. <laughs> for his, for his like, kitchen-like, godlike speed. No. He's not Yajirobe. He can't flash step. He's not acrophatic. <laughs> but so what if he were? So he takes, a, so he takes a Snorlax and specs him out for speed? You're too... He's so bizarre! Just like, you're Persian! And you try to attack Snorlax and Snorlax out from speed, and you're like, what the fuck? He just goes, you're too slow, small guy. And Two of your strongest Pokemon are basi basically stationary. <laughs> it's all over now. The Slow Brothers are coming for <laughs> you. <laughs> it, it, it's like Pokemon like, equivalent of it follows. Just <laughs> slowly meandering towards you, and you just have to keep walking away. I was just thinking of like a tag team in wrestling. They come out to like Bob Marley music. <laughs> I was just like thinking like two trainers battle each other, then one trainer knocks out the other trainer, the one that lost, and when like these two Pokemon, they'll follow you now. Don't let them touch you. Here they come! It's just a slow poke and a, and a Snorlax just meandering towards a trainer. That reminds me of a, uh, I think it was one of the million dollars butts. Uh-huh. Not one of the ones that they did the live action. Oh no, the, the snail. Not since they started the series, but yes, the snail that is out to kill you. And yeah. it's just, this snail is, is pursuing you your entire life at, you know, 0. .1 miles an hour. Yeah. It follows. <laughs> oh, you know, okay. You know, be a great crossover. What? It follows crossed over with Get Out. Yeah. It's like this guy gets catfished the same way the others get catfished, but then he sees like the fucking uh, the fucking it follows ghost coming after him, and then the cows are like, "This guy's insane. Do we really want to use him?" Yeah. <laughs> then, then like, it, and then he like turns out he's very adverse, and he has sex with, like, another, like, white person there, or, like, a white person there, just, just, just like, sampling, 
And then she see it goes after her next. I've never seen either of these movies, so I'll take your word for it. You know what, what I mean? Falls is pretty legitimately creepy. Get Out is really good yeah. at making you feel. Since Fury it... swipes, what are. Uh, it hits two to five times and it has an attack power of like 18. It's nowhere near as good as Slash. Okay. Bye. You know what I realize I'm kind of saddened by? What? The lack of an uh, on Onkyo Pokemon. How'd that even work? I don't know, they could be like a dark ghost type oh, or something. It has to be fun. So, Onkyo. On. Onrio. On. Is it Onrio or. What's our, what's our speaker called? Uh. Wait. Our speaker is Onkyo, so. So, Onrio. 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 Fucking. Part product placement. Uh. Onkyo. Onryo. Onryo. Um, Onryo. Onryu. It's a dragon. <laughs> this is a dragon with long ass hair, and it's known. It's a ghost dragon that's known to sneak out of television screens to spook people. Yeah. There, we created a fucking Pokemon. All right. And cr candy grinding is tedious. Yeah. Are you just using up a bunch of your rare candies to power level? Yeah! <laughs> Carbo load. Except for Ducks, he's just the observer now. Ducks is the manager with a stick. Who are you missing? You're still short- OH HE'S EVOLVING! Oh yeah, level 37. You're still oh. short one of your finals, aren't you? Who's that? Ah, uh, fuck. Who is it? I'm sure I'll organize it. Yay! I got a buddy! I'm being eaten alive. Trying to learn withdraw. Fuck that. You want to learn how to hide in your shell? No. There's a mega sleep. I don't hide. There's a mega slow, bro. <laughs> How's that work? It's just the head sticking out of the shell. <laughs> He's wearing the shell like body armor. <laughs> hey guys. Come and get me now! <laughs> oh! So, the only one that, like, actually is doesn't, like, think slow is Slow King, right? Yes. Why are you guys all acting this way? Like, you guys are taking, like, five seconds to respond to anything. Sorry, bossy, yeah, I know. Of course, the one who would lead, lead the fucking slow pokes are it's the one who can, like, think at a normal pace. He's the only one who can think ahead! Yeah, I don't know more for you. I think we're good with this. I'm, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Alright, now what's this one? You said it was Earthquake, and Earthquake's really fucking powerful, so... Yep, that's Earthquake. Who can learn it? <laughs> Arguably the best move in the game. That and Surf, I would argue, are the two best attackers. Oh god, who can learn it? Who can learn it? Okay! Oh, both the slow bros, as can Drakengard. <laughs> oh god! Throw this on Ginma? No, uh... Who has the highest attack between them? I guess it doesn't... Big has... Oh, fuck. I would probably say Genma myself, but... Alright. That, that'll, that'll get rid of Amnesia. Yeah. Maybe you took one out of your team to, uh... Put ducks in there temporarily. Oh, uh, that's what I did because he's the only one who knows who knows fly. It wasn't Gollum. Body slam, amnesia. Here we go. God, I, I can't. I I I am dreading victory road. Alakazam. That was oh yeah, that was the one because he's too powerful as a psych. It's like you got several psychics. Do you really need one more? You don't have any psychics right now. I got it. I got it. Slow bro. Oh yeah, you're right. He's semi psychic. Right, you learned psychic. We became a psychic type. Yeah. That's funny. And it, it's not even having anything to do with his new gimmick of that. Oh, he can surf on his tail. Well, it's so that I guess it's explain explaining why his tail can float and he can ride on it. I'm scared! Okay, girl, bye. Which, you know, the whole Raichu surfing on his tail thing, in a weird way, is kind of a throwback to the surfing Pikachu. Oh yeah, I guess so. Which was a thing, for those of you uninformed, in uh, Pokemon Yellow. 
there was like an event. I, th I think it happened in America. There was some like movie release or something. You could get it so that a guy in Pokemon Yellow would teach your Pikachu how to surf. Oh, nice. Because, oh, because it's like... That was the height of the Pokemon. No. Is there a hype for a Pokemon craze? Really? I'm sure there was at some point. I mean, it's still going very strong after all yeah. this time. Yeah, enough that they're still releasing fucking games and they're still- and they're keeping Nintendo afloat, basically. All the kids are still trading Pokemon cards. That has not changed in 15 years. <laughs> hey, did you know that the creator of Pokemon doesn't believe in God? <laughs> How would that situation resolve, by the way? Uh, they're, the Pokemon cards are allowed on the bus again. Oh. It's been civil so far. Okay. That will be a highlights video. Of sorts. The top. Just that'll open. <laughs> I have a plan for that. Just to open up with, like, a montage of you know, somebody burning Pokemon cards that one dude from that real power video going, Someone tried to put a curse on me. That real power? Oh, I should show you that video. I thought I did. It was that guy who was like claiming that uh, that so that someone cursed him and that uh, oh, he, if you don't believe in black magic, it won't harm you. Wrong, idiots. Yeah. Why change Pokemon? Sure. Let's test out. Level 29, laughable. Confusion oh. super effective. Oh, well. I'm 11, I'm 11 levels higher. I'm pretty sure it won't matter. I, ass I am assuming that Big learned Psychic at some point. So, in many ways, Lohan's society is, uh... Is better than, uh, or it is better than, like, Pokemon society, but in other ways worse. What society? Like, Alohan society. Oh, Alolan? Alolan. Like, as opposed to elsewhere in the Pokeverse? Well, I mean, you gotta have permits and train, like, Pokemon to, to like, carry you from place to place. Yeah. On one hand. As opposed to having your combat Pokemon do it. Yeah. But on the other hand, they don't got a league. Yeah. And, like, I won't go into deep spoilers, but part of the plot of Sun and Moon is they want to establish a Pokemon League in Alola. Oh, that's cool. So, you're kind of present for the founding of it. But you know, it's unique as far as Pokemon games go. Yeah, but what do they got? They got some kind of trial thing? Yeah, they have a trials system. It's like an island tradition. Welcome to our island tradition of, like... Here's the beds. Look for the narrow hallway of trees. So it's on floor nine. Don't give up! Thank you, lady. You're really nice. Okay, what's up here? PP up, PP up, PP up. Right, is this oh, rare uh, candy, I don't need those. I guess Silphco was like experimenting with teleportation technology. I guess. Good thing it's not it's it's pretty mundane and not like fucking doom. Oh, talk to that dude for a Lapras. You're not a rocket. You came to save us? Thank you! Here, have this Pokemon. Oh, thank you. And and it's like I can name it and it doesn't have a trainer ID. Yeah. It's just a free fucking Pokemon. You know That's what? Cool. You know what I'm surprised at? The thing with Gen 4, Diamond and Pearl, was that was all about evolution. They introduced a ton of new pre-evolutions and post-evolutions. But Lapras still is still just Lapras. It never got any any other forms. Uh, that surprises me, because it's a really iconic Pokemon. Yeah, I, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, you named yours the same as mine. The thing is, I came up with a name for my Lapras afterwards that I was like, Oh man, I should have named it that. Now I don't remember what it was. Uh, I think, uh... I think Red has a Lapras on his team. Uh, oh yeah, and, and Ash, he has one. 
Well, yeah, that's why Red has one. Because Ash has one. Because Ash is red, except a dumbass. Yeah. Oh, I made it! I somehow made it to the top! Huzzah! I can get the Master Ball and catch whatever I fucking want in a sec. Okay, good. I thought my phone went off again for a second there. Cubo versus... We've been very popular this stream. Yeah. Yeah. I think I just probably drop by my workplace and grab myself a pizza. Okay. Probably really cheap. I mean, I haven't been eating pizza there for a while, and, uh... Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to. Salads or anything, either? I have, I have had salads. Yeah. I had a salad last night. TM22. What is that? Anything good? Solar beam. Eh. I don't think I use that. What is... I put I didn't put, I hit the, I put the hypnotist to sleep using his own technique. I wonder. Yeah, sure. Uno Hana can harness the power of the sun. Solar beam. About to use. Oh, okay. I should probably get a water Pokemon out. Big. Go! Alright, finally done with the fucking impromptu dungeon. The Cinnabar Mansion. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. SURF! Oh no! Moisture! My one weakness! Oh! Uh, maybe they had the typing in such a way because it's like the, uh, like, they don't. It's that the other stuff isn't in their environment, like fucking surf. What do you, What do you mean? Like, like, a, like a Cubone isn't like just weak to water, and that water hurts them. It's just that they're weak to water that they don't know how to fucking deal with puddles and shit because they live in a dry environment. Yeah. Same thing with Geo dudes. Geo dudes are like clutch on rocks and they're used to that. Then they get into water. Oh no! We fucking sink. Yeah. Grass-type Pokemon are, are scared of fire, and uh, because, like, heat bothers them or something. Carbo, so I can toss. Just tossing out just a bunch of drugs on the Pokemon Center floor. Someone will find use for them. <laughs> Free prescriptions! What the? Ah! Were you not prepared? I was going to go to that computer and, like, use it to, like, get my other Pokemon. Nope, can't do that. Can't let you do that, Fox. So he has a bunch of rock ground type, so water big. water or grass will be very effective if you so yeah, big. But first he's got a poison Pokemon. I keep getting confused because I keep thinking big should be your Snorlax. Yeah. That's the joke, it's like finding a little dude and calling him the mountain. Yeah. Or a tiny. Or a big dude and calling him Tiny. Oh, that was a character At in least, that. yeah, I know. In, a in Avatar. Yeah, Pip you Squeak. know what? Aang rolled with that, like, mistake pretty well. Yeah. It's like, you think a big guy like me, Tiny, is big, is hilarious? No, it, it was, uh... This is the Pipsqueak and the Duke. And then they looked up the giant guy named Pipsqueak. You think my name is funny? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I like you. You got balls, kid. Yo, champ in making! Oh, it's the... Okay. So what they want me to do is take a bunch of quizzes so I can, like, answer correctly and not have to fight the trainers. But fuck that. You remember when, uh... So... Is this... So Ash doesn't know who his father is, right? No. I don't think it's ever revealed, but I've not watched the whole thing. People are, there are like a couple of people who are like, it's gotta be G Giovanni! There are some people who have that theory, yeah. I think that'd be pretty funny. Yeah. Pretty easy to use A or Ihorn, okay. No, I'm not changing it. If it was James. <laughs> My son! 
That's why he wants a Ash's Pikachu so bad. It's like the lion throwing his cub into the pit or something. Oh, this is just testing him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep him on his toes. Make sure his son gets stronger because he's such a fucking failure. <laughs> <laughs> Just like his old man. <laughs> Team Rocket blasting off at the speed of light because he because I don't want to answer any unwanted questions. You know what I realized playing with the uh, Nita Queen is ground type and poison, so either confusion or surf would be super effective. Uh, you know what I realized playing with Switch Mode set is like. What? It's like playing Pokemon as Maximilian Pegasus. <laughs> I know what you're about to send out! <laughs> oh, that card you have face down. Could it be a Nido Queen? How did he know? <laughs> 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 or maybe he's like a gentleman's agreement, like, Alright, I'm about to send out Nido Queen. Is that gonna be a problem for you? Uh -oh. That's fine. Alright, here we go. It's like, it's like two gentlemen, like, fencing, and they're blood, blood enemies, but they allow each other to get up, because yeah. it wasn't a fair hit. It's... I'm going to use a stab next, is that alright? That's fine with me, good sir! No. You appear to, it appears you have bested me, I'll, I'll give you half of my cash. That should be like a Monty Python skit, a polite English duel. <laughs> I say, is that a blunderbuss? Well, yes, yes, it's my favorite. My father gave it to me. Oh, that's quite interesting. You see, I brought a, uh, I brought a revolver. <laughs> All right, we shall take ten. We shall stand back to back and take ten paces, and then turn and shoot each other. No, oh, but I've got a sore leg. Can we make it eight paces? Fine, eight paces it is. Eight paces it is. One. What two... is this guy doing here? Oh, uh, he's got no, no gate. He's just hanging out. Just totally optional. Okay, whatever. I'll fight you. Maybe he's... I don't know. You ruined our plans! How? I just beat your Pokemon. You, 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 <laughs> no protection? The cop Pokemon are, are known for not being, like, non-lethal? It's funny because there are police in, uh, Gen 2. Yeah, because Gen 1, like, I uh, like said, Oh, hey, we got Officer Ginny. Kanto is the lawless region. <laughs> the lawless re Edo period Kanto! Yeah. And then you go to Johto and it's all Meiji. Alright, I got one slot for the Master Ball, that's good. It's interesting to notice, and you notice this because the Alola region is all inhabited by people from all the other regions who, pop who populated different islands and such. But there's like a different kind of culture and architecture to each different region. Yeah. And even like uh, Kanto and Johto have things unique to them. And they... They are actually kind of comparable to, like, uh, Edo and Meiji, Kanto and Johto. Yeah. Or Japan. Well, no, like, two different, two slightly different versions of Japan. It's Pokemon Samurai. Jo Johto is more, uh, upper class kind of Alright, I Japan. gotta dupl duplicate the elixir. Duplicate, Do you? yeah, du uh, get rid of the HMs, I don't need them anymore. Just want a bunch of, uh... Want a bunch of elixirs? Yeah. Is that a problem? Hey, whatever you want to do, man. You can store your drugs, you don't need those anymore, right? I guess so. I have my final party. I mean, you can always take them out again if you ever need them. Yeah. Nope, no gate open, just a dude there. Okay. Oops. Whatever. But first, I want to get the polka flute back. Oh wait, the fossil and the poke flute. Oh yeah, you can uh, revive the I can, fossil. I can revive. You're just given an Aerodactyl in uh, Sun and Moon. Not a fossil, just an Aerodactyl. Oh, we managed to duplicate this. You want it? Okay. And it's not by someone who does work related to the fossils. It's just some random trainer, random house. Here, I have an Aerodactyl. Da 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 da. Aren't those extinct? How the fuck did you get one? Ah, DT. Don't worry about it. Maybe, need, look, maybe, the they just, maybe they recently rediscovered them just living on Aloha. The point is I Alola. need to get rid of this Pokemon and I need to get rid of it fast, okay? Don't ask questions, just take it. Get out of here. Alright, uh... Can you imagine Pokemon except in real life? 
Like, I attack with Grizzly Bear! I'll counter with, with Bengal Tiger. Oh no, that's a jungle type. <laughs> it'll be my it'll it'll be my Pacific Northwest Rainforest type. Hands down. <laughs> They're not aggressive enough to fight jungle Pokemon, but they can be outwitted by uh, by Tundra Pokemon. All right, time to pull out my legendary. Go Bigfoot! <laughs> but I thought that Pokemon was just a myth. Oh god, he sent out the Phoenix. I'm fucked. Alright, time to set up the legendary clone Pokemon! Go, Dolly! Bigfoot versus Loch Ness can happen now. Alright, what about po Pokeflute? I got distracted a little bit. I need to get my Pokeflute out, too. Uh, I'm good. Alright. I saved your life. You can reward me by giving me my ultimate... How about a million bucks? We admire your courage. Oh, uh, thank you. I, I admire your, uh... Your money. <laughs> I admire your money. You're, you, you're so wealthy, and, and... You're so wealthy, and, like, powerful, and... And, uh... Just, just give me my fucking reward already! He's like, oh, thank you, you saved us! And then you're like, THIS IS A STICK-UP! <laughs> it's like in, in Knights of the Old Republic when, uh... When, like, you save a guy who's being mugged and you turn and you go, Hey, no more all your credits if you want to live! Yeah. Your party member's like, No, he doesn't mean that! <laughs> I had a guy flip the fuck out at me at McDonald's yesterday. Oh, really? R really? Yeah. I gotta hear this. What happened? Uh, so he had, uh, parked his car in two spots. Okay. Well, he was, oh, he was over the line into a second spot. And so, there were no other parking spots available. I had to, like, squeeze in with lubricant into that other spot. Oh, yikes. And I actually saw the guy eyeing me down as I parked from inside the restaurant. He was immediately, oh, like, no. in the window there. And I, I was I was getting carry out. I got my shit and I went out, and, like, within five minutes. And the guy is standing there by his car with his arms crossed waiting for me. Oh, my God, really? And he goes on a, on a, like, a tantrum. He, I, he sounded like Charlie from Always Sunny. Oh. What is this? What's, what are you doing, man? What's, what, how, how does someone do this? And he was throwing a fit about how I had parked too close to him and he couldn't get into his car after he had parked in two spots. Did you calmly and rationally explain this to him? Uh, I had, I was undergoing doing so, and he was still being all Charlie about it, and some woman said, like, dude, come on, and she, she just told me to just leave the guy, and started oh. talking to him instead. <laughs> and in retrospect, I kind of would have liked to keep talking to the guy, but whatever. Like, no, this is... I drove off while he was while he was talking to the woman, and there were other people around too. He was making a fucking scene. <laughs> at least, he, at least if he like attacked you, you would have witnesses. Yeah. Oh, I could take the fucker. <laughs> He's just like the scrawny ones. Hey, what are you doing? You're parking really close to me, dude. You were parking on the line. Well, I'm done with Silph Co. Time to make yeah. infinite Master Balls and catch everything. You're not gonna take out Sabrina? Or what? The fighting gym. Oh, did I take out... Did I not do the fighting gym? I don't think... Do you... I, maybe... Yeah, yeah, you have access to it before you take out Silph. But yeah, you have access to both now. Okay. Both gyms in the city. Alright, time to get to the Pokemon Center and heal up. And then... Afterwards... Oh, did Puff level? Yeah, Puff level. You do still well no you have a uh, you have Charizard now you don't need you only need Farfetch for cut so you can get uh, Alakazam oh, yeah, out right. if you want to you're right about that all right all right Bill give my fucking Pokemon back <laughs> 
I have traveled far to the land of Pokemon Yellow to learn forbidden techniques. <laughs> I can now do this! And he just flaps his wings and hovers off the ground, and people go, Oh, that's amazing! He drops dead from a heart attack. Alright, Sunbutt, do your stuff. Okay, Show these other fire types what's up. <laughs> God damn it, I got so many Pokemon. Fire is weak against H2O. No shit, buddy. This is the seventh Pokemon gym and you're dropping this gem of knowledge on me? Sans is now under level. I'll need to take care of that. Steroids! Time for your daily injection of Pokemon. Or you could just take him to the fighting gym and wreck shop. Or do both. I'll do both. Both is an option. Yep. There really is no reason not to just load up on rare candies except to, you know, make the stream more interesting. <laughs> make the stream go by quicker so yeah. it doesn't take all year. Do whatever you want to do. If you just, like, make all your Pokemon level 90, maybe you'll catch up to me. <laughs> Gonna have to rub it in, dude. All right, let's get, let us let us begin getting the going. All right, Butler, I challenge you. Butler, I am Blaine. The Pokédex entries in Sun Moon mention death a lot. Yeah, I know. Like more than it, it's always appeared in a couple of weird Pokédex entries, but. There's like an abundance of them lately. The balloon that takes kids away and then they die. That was Gen 4. Oh. But, so uh, creepy, what the fuck is that all about? The most unsettling, frightening Pokemon, as of Sun Moon, or at least in Sun Moon, probably, is a pink teddy bear. <gasps> really? What, what does the Sun Moon have to say about that? It's a normal fighting type. The... There are two, it, it has a regular version and an evolution. The regular version is like a flailing Pokemon. Uh -huh. And both both Pokemon have their Pokedex entries listing it, listing them as insanely dangerous Pokemon. Fucking really? The like the basic teddy bear is like throws huge tantrums and sends cars flying at the presence of anyone other than a known friend. Oh man! And, uh, the evolved version, I think this is the moon entry, it said, it has, it has a habit of get, of hugging its companions. Many trainers have left this world when their spines were crushed by oh this Pokemon. Oh my fucking god, that is... Just this big, lovable bear dude hugging you and just death everywhere. I'm... And most of the trainers are kids in Pokemon, too. Fucking hell. Oh, you're gonna try you think to- it's just the, You think it's just the, that fucking uh, Rotom just trying to scare you to death? Maybe. It's like- It's just- Rotom is- This is a, a Pokemon- I guess at this point it's just a fucking Pokemon telling you all this. Rotom is a ghost type. Maybe it's just extra morbid. That's probably it. I will sell- hmm. Oh, that, that won't do any good. And Gengar's entry in Pokemon Moon- Oh, I read this one. If, if It's what I think it is. Go, tell me. Uh- it it seeks companions because it was human once. It it kills other humans to fulfill this need. Oh my, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely got to be just the dude taking the piss to try to create more Gengars. Yeah, don't need these anymore. Things I could use. This guy actually outlevels the fuck out of me. He just his Pokemon have not been trained well. Gotta, gotta worry about them You EVs. gotta fucking Mew, I mean... By the way, nobody comments on the fact, Hey, you got a Mew, how'd that happen? Ah, they, you know, great ways. I fled, I, it was the strangest thing, I wasn't feeling like up to fighting a trainer, so I flew away from him, but I walked out of town, and then it appeared. I decided to go for a relaxing swim. And for some reason, it liked my name. Yeah. It's like, it, so, it said my name sounded funny, and then it flocked to me. Well, that's oh. missing, no, but, uh... Oh, you're, are you talking about... The Mew Glitch was... Yeah, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm... Yeah. Yeah. So, 
with you long enough. Well, it's not- I, I was thinking- you said you'd talk to a trainer and then flew away, and I was thinking of the, you know, the lavender- the vermilion guy. Alright, let's, uh, let's do it. Oh, I, uh, where's the fighting gym, Sabrina? It's- is that in the same place? Uh, it's next to Sabrina's. The two gyms are adjacent to each other. Okay. But they're in the same place. In the same city, yeah. yeah. You're not the old man. I wonder now that you beat the rocket, see, see if this gym's accessible. You <laughs> think it just... Oh, are you doing the old man glitch? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm gonna get infinite Master Balls before I forget, and then... They disabled this in Pokemon Yellow by making him fail to catch the Pokemon. Yeah! Well, you can't even do it once, can you? Uh, no. <laughs> well, that's the general idea anyway. I just suck. <laughs> Don't be like me, kids. Don't abuse dark gods for fun and profit. Uh, where do I need to go? I just have... Okay, I'll go to... I'm on the road to Viridian City! <laughs> So, when people talk shit about, like, Bethesda and how their games are glitchy as hell, people can, like, point back to Pokemon and go, Yeah! How you like that shit? Open world game that... Does Bethesda have a reputation of glitchy games? Uh, their games are kind of have some weird jank that happens with them sometimes. Ah. Like, as good as Morrowind was, it totally wasn't just perfect. Uh, uh... Oh, hey, oh, fuck! Ah, you can get away. Slash it! No, he better run. So it was, I, it was, I'm pretty sure it was slot eight. No, it was slot, what, what slot was it? That... Number six. Oh. Oh, fuck, what did I accidentally clone then? One, two, three, four, five, fuck! <laughs> you have a billion card keys, you just can't see the number. I hope that doesn't fuck me. Alright, let's continue. This has always been the weirdest gym. I hear the trainers here like ground types. Except, only like two of them actually use ground types, mostly. And G Giovanni... I guess Giovanni uses all ground types, or mostly ground types. I guess. Got away safely. Alright, there we go. Those are, those are my, uh... Then in Gen 2, Blue is the gym leader, and it just has no theme. How do I split them up? You can't. Uh oh. You're just gonna have to use them, or if you wanna, like, fix- If you wanna make the number go down, you could toss a certain amount of them, but... I mean, you just have a bunch of them, so... Okay, whatever. That should be enough to catch- To get my pick of the litter. I wonder th what the exact number is. I think it might actually be 108. <laughs> Yeah, that would be pretty fitting. Alright. Now, I guess we go to, uh... Sabrina, and... You said she was where? Saffron. Okay, Saffron. Yeah, I was there, I just... Didn't can, look hard enough for the other gym. Can I just flood this whole gym, and, like, take out everyone's Pokémon at once? Can Surf work that way? The Diglets don't know what the fuck. You're pretty good, but you might have a chance if you all come at me at once. <laughs> Dicey Warrior style. Ah, oh, gentlemen, would you be... Would you be down for a spot of fencing? Uh, you mean sword fighting? Sure. Uh, now, Cody, we'll go one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, no, you're gonna have to come at me all at once. So it'll, it'll be fair for you. But that would be ungentlemanly. Oh, fuck, Victoria. Man, combat's never been the same since everybody became all nice. I miss Edo Japan when everyone was assholes to each other. <laughs> Yeah, ground types. I use them a chop and I'm a choke. Alright, 
Uh, all right, Sans, let's do this. Man, you guys have a shitty ass gym. Just a big floor. It doesn't have any puzzles or anything. No wonder. I guess the the puzzle gimmicks were what attract trainers. Yeah. They're like little tourist traps. Like every gym needs a gimmick. These are the these are the guys who wanted to be like true to the original concept and just like a pure all about the fights gym. Yeah. And, then and they, they just lost out to the competition next door. Because they because. What good is fighting if the other guy can read your mind? They never actually got like their asses beat by the by Sabrina's gym. They just lost to her like as legitimate businesses. <laughs> oh, I feel bad you guys don't get many views. Well, uh, thank you for your sympathy. Thank you. But hey, you're here with us. That's nice. We are uh hopefully Oh, Skull Bass. Unlike nah, the fuck final that. stretches of this. Yeah. I will at least beat Giovanni today. And... Where are we at? We've been going for an hour and a half. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna make it through Victory Road and the Champion and all, but, you know, I could, I'll make some progress. I still need to get through all the fucking gems. I'm done with every story, like, plotline, except for the gems. Yeah. And I just need to chain... chain fuck them. Yeah, well you also need, in order to get to the Cinnabar gym, you need to go through the fire building I went through. Oh, well, in that case, I don't have all, everything done. Do you guys have a YouTube channel? We do! We do! At Seat Studios. What's and you can find all of our previous streams archived there. I don't, we haven't done any, uh... Also, some, some, uh, videos we didn't do on Twitch, because we were not allowed. Oh yeah, there's some of them. I had, there's a, uh... There's a game that I've de been debating whether we should do or not, and it could potentially be After Dark. Is it Hatred? No. Okay, what is it? Uh, it's called Privates. What the f- <laughs> What is- What is Privates? It's, as I've been told, an educational game. Educational game. About a bunch of little military dudes. Who, who go who go on like uh, who go and like take take STDs out of vaginas and things? What the? F That's bizarre. It is. It is very bizarre. This is like a game you would play on like on like Macintosh. I've seen it streamed on Twitch, so it might be okay there. But I don't think we want to risk it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out with you guys. Well, thank you thank for you. hanging out with us. Yes, it is full of terrible of terrible sex jokes. Educational. Yeah, and uh, and uh, Leisure Suit Larry teaches you about interpersonal relationships. Do you like corn? Fucking love corn. I, I gotta have sex while listening to corn. Okay, we gotta at some point we gotta do a an After Dark series of uh, shitty new ground sex games. <laughs> yeah. Because I know that was one of them. There, that the, I keep. I don't know if I've mentioned that. I think that was actually a parody of the series. It might have been. I don't know if I mentioned the corn thing on a stream before, but there was. It, like this is, you told me this way back, like when we first met. There was a game on Newgrounds that was a. Uh, it was a. It was a sex game. There was one of those sex flashes, and it was like, it was basically a Leisure Suit Larry kind of game where you were walking around, you know, talking to various NPCs in a town. And one of the events was just, uh, you'd walk into a room and there were two girls, and they'd ask you out of nowhere, Do you like corn? You're the band! Yeah, K-O-R-N. Yeah! And if you say no, they say, Fuck off! And they kick you out. And if you say yes, then you start having sex as corn plays. <laughs> you know, cause, cause... Out of nowhere. What style of music was corn? Ah, uh, it was... It was Screamo, not quite metal. It was, I guess you it could was call like it. They were like around in the '90s, right? That was when they were like hitting their prime. I think you would call it. You would call it new metal. New metal, nice. The first, the first new new metal bands like found in the wild. We do, we do play Smash. Not, we haven't done it too recently. We've we played a lot of Smash streams. 
like 25, 26. They're all archived. Yeah. So, I don't know how I, will, I get angry for a lot of them. Yeah. And there are two screens right now because we are playing two, both versions. Jack is on blue version and I'm on red version. We were originally racing, but that, that kind of fell through. Yeah. Did they misspell porn or corn? No. Corn is a band. K O R N. It's Screamo. It's Screamo angsty punk metal. Right. I am the karate master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Yeah! Yeah, ground types, that Arbok. Tauros, another fantastic ground type. I'm gonna kick you now. That's nice. Why are they so synced? Uh. What? Oh! I think we've been showing. <laughs> oh shit! I think we've been showing your screen on both this entire time. <laughs> well, well, it's okay. We'll have your footage of going through, going through the fire gym. I blame VBA. <laughs> How'd that even happen? We said we saw it in the beginning, right? I thought we did. I thought we were. uh... Maybe it has been the whole time. I oh just didn't God. notice it. Oh my God! With you guys, by the way, why are you? Why do you have two of the same screen going? No, we don't. Wait a minute. Whoops. <laughs> welcome to welcome to the Jack Zone. It was like the... You know, if you, you, at the time you cro go cross-eyed, it's almost like it's 3D. This is like the 10th Pokemon stream. First time that's happened, thankfully, but... We did it. That's okay. I started the stream... No, I finished the rocket building. I think... Where did I start? I think I started by going through the fire thing, so, I mean, well, at least we'll have your footage of that. Take. Which one did you take? I think I took Hitmonchan. Alright. Now that I've worked, not trying to 100% it, so it doesn't really matter, but. Okay. I think Hitmonlee is a slightly better Pokemon, but I, I'm partial to Hitmonchan because I like the different types of punch moves. You know, like fire punch, ice punch, thunder All right. punch. Alright, uh, so P E R K I C. Okay, I can't, I can fit it, I can fit that. I got my team here, I got, uh, Puff the Dragon, Sun Butt the Unicorn, Yuchiru, my Mew. What do you say about that? Cooper the Turtle, and Berta, the fastest in the universe! He just, he, I'm legit so impressed. How do they keep it so synced? <laughs> That'd be great. We just start playing and we just rehearse it, but... Oh, and no one saw me dual wielding both games for that time you were on your phone either. Oh, no, because... Because you were just playing. Fighting Dojo and... At the very least, that means that the times that... I had my phone call going, they weren't missing anything. They had two screens of action happening. Y you know what? What? You know what? I feel like I need to go fishing. Yeah? I need to go fishing. You gonna fish? Oh, you I don't, don't have, have any rods. Fuck! Whatever. I, I don't need to go fishing right now, I guess. I can fish anytime. There's no good, uh... Way to uh to like take down psychics in this game, except with like blunt physical force. But there are also a lot of uh 
Watch out for the channelers, because there are a lot of them in this gym that use ghost types as well. F wow! I guess your best bet would be Genma, just like body slam all the psychics and earthquake all the ghosts. Yeah. I haven't really uh, taken him out for a test drive after I gave him steroids, so... Yeah. Sabrina's Pokémon use psychic power instead of force. Fighting Pokémon are weak against They get creamed before they can even aim a punch. Okay, so what's strong against psychic Pokémon? <laughs> Fighting Pokémon are weak against psychic... Okay, yeah. but what's strong against... No, I nothing? Don't, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. There's nothing strong against psychic Pokémon. I have no advice for you. Psychic Pokemon are superior overlords. The Aryans of Pokemon, Gen 1. You know, everything else kind of falls within the realms of possibility. It makes sense that, like, blatant wizardry would be the most powerful thing in this game. Yeah. Never was it, like, a, a magic type, specifically. That, that could have been that, another... I guess it's fairy. That could have been another potential for new types. Yeah, ah, oh, yeah, body slam! No recoil, too. Nope. This is this is Ginma just doing pro wrestling moves on like Pokemon. Have to use sl another slowpoke. Okay. So of yet there have been uh, two masked wrestlers that I'm aware of in the Pokemon series. One in Gen 4 and one in Sun and Moon. I paralyzed him. No masked wrestler Pokemon that I can think of yet. Oh man, Okadamon and. Uh, that doesn't count. Although there was apparently a, uh, apparently there's a form of Greninja that appears in the anime, and nowhere else, that it just, like, because it has such a strong bond with its trainer, Ash, it can transform into this totally unique form. Oh my god, really? It looks like it's wearing a mask, uh, and it's called Ash Greninja. That's pretty cool, Yeah. I guess. Wow, this Slowbro is slow tanky as fuck. And it's so weird that they did that, because it's not a mega evolution or anything. It's just totally random and unique occurrence. You can't actually get your own Ash Greninja by playing the Sun Moon demo. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, how do I get a Sun Moon demo? Yeah, just, you can download it for free on the 3DS. Oh, that's cool. It's better than, like, oh, this event happens this... Just now, and then if you don't have, and if you don't attend it, you don't ever get it. Yeah. You tried recovering on your first turn, you idiot! I'm smart. Like, it's amazing that psychic types obey trainers at all, because that. You wouldn't obey. I guess. Honor. I was gonna say you wouldn't obey someone stupider than you, but I mean. I've worked well, for people well, stupider than me my entire life. <laughs> God damn! That, what, that, that, that is the most egotistical thing you've ever said! That was part of a speech that, I don't remember who it was, some Microsoft executive, like a, or not my, it was, no, an Apple executive, a Japanese Apple exec. A Japanese executive said that?! Gave a speech at a college that was reprinted in a bathroom reader, and it was like, uh, points of life advice for the college graduates. And one of them was, live off your parents' dollar as long as you can. Enjoy life. Oh. Put off working for someone who's dumber than you as long as you possibly can. <laughs> God damn. I thought that was funny. That, was, that, is, that tickled me the right way. Just, I've worked for people Be dumber than me all my life. Because in, apparently in Japan... Advancement isn't based on merit, it's based on you going out and having drinks with your boss. Well, in America, it's just how long you've been on the workforce, not yeah. how qualified you are. Yeah, it's, hey, you worked for us for five years and didn't fuck up, you must be doing something right. Giovanni Power. used guard spec, now I can't crit him as he has two health left. Gee, your fissures don't seem to be working right on. That's rough, buddy. What's Fisher supposed to do? It opens up a hole in the ground and then snaps it back. It's okay, it only makes them faint. It doesn't kill them, no. Yeah, somehow. It's a one-hit KO. I know. Like Guillotine, where which decapitates a Pokemon. But only makes them faint. Yeah. Pokemon are immortal, right? 
No, they're not immortal. Uh, uh, or the tower wouldn't exist. Uh, that, yeah, okay, that's true. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's like that they're they're as durable as people from One Piece. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe it's like One Piece Land, where death just uh, death it, has other things to do. It's too busy an Attack on Titan to visit <laughs> the land of One Piece. Yeah, they had to check up and go, Jesus fuck, are all these people still alive? Oh, I'll show you. I got a lot of work to do. So yeah. I could just leave now and just have Giovanni hang out here. But if you talk to him again, he vanishes. Having lost, I cannot face my underlings. The rocket is finished forever. I'm gonna dedicate my yeah. life to the study of Pokemon. I'm gonna be a professor. <laughs> I'm gonna go legit honest, kid. Never appears again. Oh, should I ab abandon learning Harden for I don't, my... I don't know. Harden's a pretty good move. <laughs> my you fucking... know, Metapod's top tier. What the fuck? How the fuck is a fucking uh, Snorlax gonna learn Harden? Soft as shit. He's got all that fat. Level 41 and Snorlax gets to learn hard. What a fucking privilege. <laughs> Apparently it's a top tier move if uh, the Pokemon anime is supposed to be believed. Yeah, the only thing that can beat Harden is another Harden. Oh no, my Ice Beam! <laughs> now I can't use a special move against these Psychics. <laughs> they didn't see it coming. Good job, Mr. Wonderful. I have no idea where I'm going. So the... I guess we didn't really explain this. The, the whole idea of this is that we're both going to play until we uh, have both beaten the champions. And then we'll have a final bout with both of us at full level 100 parties. Oh, 34 damage Nightshade, that's cool. I... am sick of having a Dragonair. I want a Dragonite. Oh, you're gonna give him steroids. Steroids the American way! <laughs> Dragon Rage? Still not terrifying. Ah, fuck it. Man, I wish... Oh no! Fuck! Oh no, confusion! Alright. I'll have to switch to my secondary Pokemon. There are some Pokemon like that are like the ghost types in this game that are just really annoying to face in battle because their moves aren't bad, but they're just slow to use so slow to use yourself, because it's all confusion and sleep and shit. The endless tedium that is, uh, not- oh, I miss! play. Oh, right. Ghost actually does not affect Psychic type in this game. Yeah. They fucked up so bad that the one thing that was supposed to be super effective does not affect them. Yeah. Well, that was... something. Not good enough. Yeah, I agree, your performance was shit. Okay. Basically, it's just us fucking around in Pokemon. Yeah. I like games where that allows you to, like, just... Hyper Beam. Kind of... Sweet. What? Hyper Beam. Sweet. Oh, you got Hyper Beam. But is that the best move in the game? Oh, it's, it's a, a move so good that it requires your, you to, like, not take your next turn. It's a very strong move. The single hardest hitting move in the game is Explosion, which, of course, kills you. Yeah, but it's really good. I think that has a power of 200 or 250. Whereas Hyper Beam is 150. Earthquake is 100. Man. So, Come Explosion on. is at least two times as powerful as Earthquake. Well, you used Dream Eater! You fucking- you serious?! He's confused. That's kind of like sleep, right? I thought it would be good enough. <laughs> Super not effective. Thank you very much. By the way, you know who else can't learn fly? Who? It's gonna be a really stupid answer. Oh my god! <laughs> the two giant six foot dragons with broad wingspans cannot fly their trainers anywhere. Now here's the, here's the real question. What? Can he learn fly in yellow? 
I don't think so. <laughs> I think only Charizard <laughs> got the fix. So he's like a giant chicken! Yes. I mean, he's still a really powerful Pokemon, just can't fly. The wings are for show. Yeah. Like the wings you see on Succubuses. Oh, I, I got to her! <laughs> Dragon I'm surprised I managed that! Dragonite is like that really, really buff Pegasus pony with the tiny little wings. <gasps> yeah! Roid Rage! <laughs> Scott Steiner in pony cartoons. <laughs> they, 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 they say all ponies are created equal. When you look at me and you'll get Samoa. Sam Samoa Joe? Yeah. That, Samoa Joe, you know that's not the case. I get it. Island Joe, I think you'd be called. Yeah. We have a wa wide variety of interests. Because it pays to know shit that's going on in popular culture. Oh, you and me? Yeah. Also, because if you find things fun, whatever. I dislike fighting, but if you must wish, I will show you my powers. Hold on. Do you see a horn? Uh, on, on Dragon Air? I, 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 I get. Yeah, the two things jutting up. Are they horns? No, those are like antenna. Are you sure? Yeah, they're like soft and squishy in the artwork. But it's the most horn attack. But it can learn horn drill. Maybe it just takes a drill and like attacks you with it. Like. <laughs> but it's pre-evolutions, Dragon Air. Which does have a horn, cannot learn horn drill. This game is stupid sometimes. <laughs> that is the conclusion I have reached. Sometimes. Oh, yeah, cadaver. Okay. I Watch. thought you were gonna say cadaver. The lost skeleton of cadaver? By the way, that's a, that's a, if we ever do movie night again, that's a movie we should watch. The lost skeleton of cadaver? Yeah. That's yeah. his actual title! Oh, okay. Oh. God, I thought somebody was gonna call me. I still can't believe they had a, uh... Is that your alarm? Yeah. Wake up, Jack! It's 4.50 in the afternoon, you lazy fuck! It, it, more like, hey, Jack, it's ten minutes till you gotta go to work. Oh. Uh, you can do something about that! Will I change Pokemon now? Body slam. What was I talking about? Oh right, I, I can't, I still can't believe they had a villain in the Powerpuff Girls named Avra Cadaver. Is he the dude who like summoned a bunch of zombies? He was a zombie musician, um, zombie magician. Oh, he was the necro dancer. Kind of, I guess. He had a brutal backstory too. He got crushed in one in an Iron Maiden on stage. God, yeah, I remember that episode. That that was creepy as a kid. <sighs> I don't know if I want to. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Victory Road first. If I don't find a PP up on Victory Road, I'm gonna have to come back and search this long ass route. Where the hell are the PP ups? Uh. I don't know. There's also. Why he's, he's, how are you a level over me? Oh my gosh. Oh, I got him though. The gym trainers are kind of kind of pussies after the first gym, and then suddenly you get to the gym leader and it's like ten or fifteen levels against. Unless you have a Charmander. Well, I mean, no. I'm saying in the first gym, the one trainer in there was actually pretty tough. He had like level 11, 13 Pokemon. As compared to Brock's, like, level 14. Team 46, Psywave. So there's only, like, a one or two level difference between the trainer and Brock. But in every gym after that, the trainers are, like, 10 or 15 levels under the gym leader's Pokemon. Well, it's time to leave! It's time to fucking leave! Oh, there's another rival fight on this road. I thought there was just the first one. God, I want to go home! Let Just me go home! Keep going horizontally, you'll get there. Oh, like... No, like, the way you were going. Oh. 
Just down. Up. Up. Down. Hey, it worked! It's like a Rubik's Cube! Wow, dude, Blue's really strong. He's actually outleveled my Pokemon. <laughs> you ready to kiss your ass goodbye? Nope, it's just gonna use agility that could be really, really fast, and then have time to use one move it's before it dies. Fighting JoJo is very tragic backstory with like, oh, we were gym leaders, but now we're not. Nope, it just it used agility, maxed its speed, and then used agility again in time for it to die. <laughs> I'm gonna become fast so fast I'll go back in time and kick your ass. The rocket boss was escaping. <laughs> but where I wonder. Must have escaped some. <laughs> I always love it when there's like in movies when there's like a guy who uh, who like escapes from certain certain death despite the fact you don't ever show it and also he uh, there's no way he could have survived. Yeah. And he goes and he goes. Wait, how did you how did you survive? I must have escaped somehow. Yeah. I must have. You don't know. You know, I'm not sure how I'm here either. <laughs> there's also a fun one in, like, the movie Jaws the Revenge. Uh, there's Michael Caine's character called Hoagie. And he, like, crashed his helicopter into the sea. Oh, a shark I... was certain there is for certain death. Does he like a dude that talk like this all the time? No, he's actually British. Oh, okay, never mind. He's Different like Hoagie classic now. British dude. He was, uh, uh, Alfred in the Dark Knight trilogy. Okay. And, uh... Hoagie. And, yeah, Hoagie. <laughs> I know, right? And then, uh, and then somebody asked him, like, how did you survive? And all he had to say about the subject was, it wasn't easy. <laughs> I'm like, uh, well, I can't argue with that. Alright, uh, oh, I gotta go to Cinnabar. Because there, there's been, there's a uh, worm sound bank, and actually pretty good worms, worm sound bank, just called Hoagie. Uh huh. And it's all just like a dude talking like this, and it's from some movie or something, but I don't know who the fuck Hoagie is. It's been haunting me for ages. <laughs> I love like, I love like clever lines in movies. Yeah. Where it's obviously also just the the filmmakers kind of thinking about the situation and realizing how ridiculous it is. Yeah. Like, like in the, like in the scene in Snakes on a Plane, where, uh, where the one crime lord who's, like, infiltrating the, like, like, initiating the, uh, fucking Snakes on a Plane operation to begin with. He's like, it, why snakes, And, right? like, the guy's, like, asking him, well, uh, wait, snakes, sir? And then the crime boss looks at him and goes, don't you think I've exhausted every other option? <laughs> That's a... And I said at the time, it's a line with a story. Yeah. It's, it's like, dude, just, just desperately trying to find a way to kill this kid, and on the plane, and realizing that 9/11 like caused fucking security measures to get really tight. Yeah. And he had to make do with what he got, and he happened to have a bunch of poisonous snakes. Yeah. It's like, fuck it. You gonna revive your fossil? Yeah. It's in the far right room. Oh. That loosened me up. I'm ready for Pokemon League. Hey, Zelrog, you need more practice, trainer I just lost to. <laughs> Arrogant fuckwad. Like, did the makers of this game just assume you were supposed to lose all your rival encounters? And they didn't script any dialogue for if you won? <laughs> Oh, I'd better beat this level I have three a meter fossil. for experience. It is fossil of Kabuto, Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine. <laughs> resurrection machine. R M. We'll make that Pokemon live again. That's every time we uh. Go! Oh, you want hurry and give me that. That's every time we see something in a series or a movie or something, where. Someone is like brutally eviscerated. There's no way they could have survived that. But then they come back later, and we know it. He survives this. <laughs> he survives this. I love it when I drop that line because it's like it should be like a cinema sense thing. Like he survives this. Yeah. Fucking. Okay. You go for a free. 
You go for a walk for a little while! Just leave the building and come back in. Frieza's cut in half, floating out in space after a planet's explosion. He survives this! Readily survives this! Oh, you know what? Kabuto will be useful for, like, taking down the fire gym. You could Where use... were you? Your fossil is back to life! Okay, frankly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to go uh, reclaim my champ belt. But I'm back now, so you can tell me how to get to the fucking moon. It was Kabuto! Like I think! Jack on Kabuto. Do you want to... <laughs> Medical ninja. That is the boulder badge. Go right ahead. That is the cascade badge. Go right ahead. Call him Lazarus. Fuck, that is a really good name. I'm using that. Oh, that is the thunder badge. We have a very important script we are required to follow. We get punished for deviating. L A Z U R U S. Uh, A R U S. All oh, right, I can't just click on the water. I gotta go into the party menu. I think they fixed that in Gen Two. There is no room for Pokemon. Lazarus was sent to the Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Hiya! Hiya! I am an important doctor. You! Have you a fossil for me? No! It's too bad! Why is he so English? Well, I don't the know- The fuck is with that shit? I don't know what accent it's supposed to be. Maybe Russian? It's supposed to be- obviously he's just supposed to be foreign. <laughs> what accent is that, foreign? Native what? <laughs> so funny, it's, it's, it's weird to have like a, a guy patterned after Native Americans in a universe in which- there is no America. There is no America. Can you imagine if they drop that in uh, in Pokemon? We're looking for a tall native man. <laughs> then Na again, Na apparently native Kantoian, native uh, Unovan. Then again, apparently South America exists. So what do I know? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> looking for Ponita. Trade one for Seal. I don't got any either. So you're, you're not can't, doing important work, you're just... Man, I really wish I had a Ponita right now. Can't you catch Ponita in, like, next door? Shh, Dumbass. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. Oh, well, you naive soul. <laughs> tick, tick. I made a cool TM. Oh. You can cause all kinds of fun. Metronome! <gasps> FUCK YEAH! You gonna have your Snorlax fly? <laughs> Just hovering there with a dopey ass smile on his face. He doesn't know what the fuck- The Joey is. Wheeler move. Spider Roulette! We gotta come up with a, uh... I gotta come up with, like, a full Joey Wheeler move set. Metronome and three other moves that rely horribly on RNG. Right, so Sans can learn it, Casper can learn it. Sleep talk. That uses a move at random while sleeping. Oh. Well, that's more useful because it's the only move you can use while sleeping, so... One of two. Genma can learn it. Uh... Casper. It can replace, it oh. can replace any one of, like, many useless moves because Genma isn't really that optimized until he gets Slash. Who's Genma? Genma's Persian. Snorlax. No, Genma's Snorlax. Oh. Sorry. Casper yeah, Corrin, use... Corrin can't learn it, though. Fuck! Casper could use some more uh, varied moves. Even if it's just random. Yeah. Uh, hypnosis is it is needed for the Dream Meter combo. It's Confuse Ray or Mega Drain? Oh god. Oh, that's a tough choice. Confuse Ray... That's an if it works situation, though. Mega Drain only has a power of 40. Yeah, I'll keep in mind. I'll get rid of Mega Drain. Because Confuse Ray is useful. So, if I guess if you're against someone who you can't use the Hypnosis Dream Meter against, you just... Fuck it, Metronome. And, and, any, and any anyone is better than the one you have. Unless it's like withdrawal or harden or some shit, in which case you're fucked. If it can't, if things can't get worse, summon God Godzilla. Yeah. Can things get any worse? Yes. Hello there. Do you want to trade your Raichu for Electric? No. 
There's just a room full of people who want to make shitty Pokemon trades. I found a very strange fossil in Mount Moon. Where's the Aerodactyl dude? Uh, in the Pewter, Je Pewter Museum. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever, let's go. Wasn't that... I was trying to think. Wasn't this, like, the also the Vermilion music where the ship was? Maybe? They gotta reuse a lot of the music in this game. Alright, let's go. Oh, Go Golbat, you are a beautiful, beautiful specimen. <laughs> oh, whoa. Some electronica shit. Hey, DJ Lita. I'm glad you got hired by Game Freak. You're adorable, I want you. And whatever Jack wants. Only nine. Uh, I think the other number's invisible. Or you or you have two stacks of Master Balls. Phew! For a second there, I was worried he was gonna break out. <laughs> Apparently, like, I wonder why Master Balls work. Do you think they're, like, the most luxurious for Pokemon? Like, Pokemon that get caught by them, they're like, Fuck! This is so good! I don't wanna leave! It's literally like the 72 Virgin's Heaven. If, if people could live in Master Balls, they would. <laughs> so I got one fucking, like, kids WB sketch where Ash got trapped in a Pokeball. I was like, so this is what it's like in a Pokeball? Cool! I vaguely remember that. It was terrible because yeah. they ruined it by saying, oh, is this all your dirty laundry? It's like, it had nothing to do with fucking anything. Yeah. Well, of course it was terrible. It was a kids WB sketch. <laughs> kids WB sketch. And somehow got, like, the voice actors for it, too. That was the most bizarre part. They you had Dan Green doing, like, kids WB sketches describing how, oh, this is how I get my hair done. I mean, as if it's hard to get gr Dan Green. <laughs> I guess. Now cluck like a chicken. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Mew, what's White Snake's ninth album? Mew? That was the name of, like, the girl that they were, like, asking, hey. Oh, I can't! What? Cat outside! Oh yeah, there's a cat, there's a cat who hangs so around adorable. our neighborhood. Oh, we're gonna climb up that fence! One day we'll be able to afford a cat. Keep working hard, Jack. Yes. Okay, I got two options. <laughs> I think one is a peep. It's yeah, it's on the fence. I think one is a PP up and one is a is a shitty. Oh, move. if you move it once, you're fucked. Save it, save scumman. You have my permission to do so. If rare candy, okay, it was not a PP up. If I, I if I leave the area and come back, it'll uh, return. All right, that's fe that's better. Uh, what's your favorite breed of cat? Kinds. Yeah. I don't know my cat breeds. I just look at a cat. And like, I'm just like short hair, long hair. Oh. I like the short hairs. Just single color coat, boot cats, tabbies. No preference. I'll have to look at them because I don't. I can't identify breeds by sight. Yeah. I like short hairs. Long hairs kind of get to be a pain to take care of. Yeah, I just leave it on this music when I'm just fucking... Uh, I still gotta show you that, uh, space oddity. Alright. People made some surprisingly good... Oh, I caught a mimic! People made some surprisingly good songs in Moonbase, Moonbase Alpha. Oh, mimic, you mean Voltorb? I... <laughs> they wanted a mimic in the game, and by doing so, they kind of fucked up the... Like, biology. I mean, like, people say there are dumb designs in Gen 1, but 
all the ones they point to are kind of RPG staples. Yeah. Like Grimer and Muckers. Back, back when Pokemon was originally just going to be like, hey, they're monsters, but you can catch them. Grimer and Muck are slimes, obviously. Voltorb and Electrode are mimics. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'll take you on, Golbat. You are worthy of, like, being experienced for me. Does somebody- does Rapidash ever learn Flamethrower? Can I please get rid of Ember? Maybe not until, like, way later in the game. I think it actually never does. I'm gonna teach it Fire Blast. I don't need you. Go away. Metronome! We're gonna get to, like, Gen 5 of Pokemon. You're gonna just have a full cat team. Oh, I, 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 I needed to recover, but... No, I don't need Fisher. I need Fire Blast. Casper <laughs> just reached into its pockets, grabbed a horn, and stabbed the other Pokemon to death with it. Casper used horn attack. It wasn't his horn. He doesn't care. He just threw a Pokemon at it. Oh, I need to. I need to do something to unlock these doors, huh? Uh, yeah, the statues are secret switches. Okay. Ponita! Go to sleep. Damn it. But no. Ponita's not tired! Go to sleep. Alright, fine. Spin the wheel, make a deal. I hate you! With a nor ghost uses normal type move. You just figure like, that uh, shit uh, out. Uh, punch! It's like the whole idea is that I guess ghosts and normals can't hit each other because, you know, they're ethereal. Yeah. But then you got a ghost who can just like punch something and it works. Yeah. Well, only in a specific circumstance. Yeah, reflect! Hit me now, bitch! Just oh, he's just wagging his tail. See if it until it works. Oh! Oh man! Man, fuck! Casper's gonna wrap all around Bonita and just choke it to death. Nope, it missed. Well, Jack's not in yeah, victory. Yeah, psychic! Jack's not in victory road, I am. I, I cannot push this rock any further. The ghost of the item that was there prevents me from doing so. <laughs> Damn. Dang it! There's a lot of people. A lot of encounters. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of a pain to get through. Doesn't hit me. By the way, there are also a lot of items in here, so you're gonna want to make sure you have pocket space. Well, damn. Good thing I've got an escape rope. You choose an item. I well, I picked I picked up the one and then left and came back. You can get both of them that way. But neither of them are any good. One was a rare candy, and one of them is Sky Attack, which is kind of worthless in this game. I guess they buffed it quite a bit later on. Yeah. Because now it's like a hun It takes two turns, like Fly, but it's 140 damage, crits easily like Slash, and also can flinch. That's cool. Alright. Corrin. Otherwise, I don't know what they were thinking with these, uh... There's so many moves that just take two turns in this game, but you don't get a lot of payoff for it, like Skull Bash. Yeah, it's weird. Oh yeah, I got Water type move. Still didn't like finish him off in one shot. Damn it. Hey, he thinks Zelrog is gonna win. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> it's okay. It's not a race anymore. We're just we play until both of us have beaten, have become champion, and then we have a fight. Yeah, which you're probably gonna win. I never wanted to lose to anybody. Oh, okay, get get over yourself. 
I'm talking to the trainer on the screen, I mean. Press it? Who wouldn't? Great one. What does this button do? Yeah, Vultix. Another one. So this island isn't that big. All the local wildlife is just hiding in this house. Yep. Well, of course, because people aren't here. It's a preserve. Can I sleep in this bed? No. In before Jack becomes a speedrunner and gets a new world record. <laughs> well, I told him he could, uh... He could just power level his Pokemon and speed through. Which he's done a bit of. He's... You fed your Pokemon a bunch of rare candy, which I have not done except for Dragonite, whom I'm not currently using, so... Man, Takedown does more damage. Oh, right, Persian doesn't know Slash yet. No. I'm waiting on that bridge, that ship to sail. I need to... I don't remember if I mentioned this, maybe I did in the Paper Mario stream, but... Since the advent of Pokemon Bank, I'm considering starting through the Pokemon series, like buying them on Virtual Console on 3DS, and clearing out the Pokedex one generation at a time. Because I could get, like, all 151 Pokemon in red and blue, stick them in Pokemon Bank, and then, you know, get the Johto Pokemon in gold and silver. They finally have a program that lets you send red and blue Pokemon up to later generations. So you can actually have a Pokemon from red or blue go all the way up to sun or moon. All the way up. All the way. Do you guys have shinies in other games? I have never encountered a wild shiny. I don't I think I've not, ever... Well, either. not counting, obviously, the scripted red Gyarados. He doesn't count. No. Which is weird, because I've played an absurd amount of Pokemon, and the chances are supposed to be like uh, 4,000 to 1. And I know I've encountered a lot more than 4,000 Pokemon. She's so. raging out, bro! What am I gonna Charmeleon do? Charmeleon oh. through a tantrum. I guess I'll just go through a flip through. Are we both fighting Charmeleons? Yep. <laughs> Except my guy also has a Charizard. That can't fly. But is still flying type and thus weak to electric. Oh, this is gonna take me a while. It's not as big as it looks. Okay. Bro, I have 30 shinies in sun and moon. It's not hard at all. I mean, I don't really care to breed them. I, d I don't feel the need to go out of my way to get shinies. Get rare parrots with, like, cool patterns on their feathers. Now, IV training, that's something I've been considering, but shinies, I don't, I don't really care about a Pokemon that just looks pretty. Maybe some that are really cool looking. I think, uh... I think shiny Charizard is like black or something. <laughs> the black Charizard. Maybe it's green. There was some cool looking shiny Pokemon. Rayquaza! But I can't breed a shiny Rayquaza, so I'm, I'm out of luck there. A shiny Rayquaza is like a black Chinese myth dragon. <laughs> Kinda awesome! Alright, can we... Oh, got to hit the switch. Ah, damn it! No, I did hit the switch, what the fuck? Fun fact, your Electrode is so bad he doesn't learn any Thunder moves by himself. I have mentioned this on several previous yeah. streams. Electrode and, I think, in this game, Magneton, Magnemite and Magneton, never learn any Electric moves. Because, you know, why would an electric Pokemon need something as shitty as those? Yeah, that's stupid. July 5th, Guiana, South America. That <laughs> You're right. Oh, Guyana, the Cult of the Damned. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Maybe he's, like, writing fiction. Wait, what? No, I have, uh, I actually use Electrode in Generation 1 as my catcher. Because he has Thunder Wave and he has Sonic Boom. Which, you know, deals a finite amount of damage. Since False Swipe did not exist until Generation 2, that's 
pretty- I- the way I figure it, the most reliable catching option in the game. And he's also the fastest Pokemon in the game, so that's nice. You know, the electric ball moves yeah. super speedy. Yeah, he just kind of floats and then he just he just moves quicker than the human eye can detect. You can seem like he's teleporting. You can use SOS Chain for shinies. I am well aware of that. I just, again, I feel no need to find them. I, I, he, he like, does. what would be the point? I don't care. Rainmaker! Sonic Boom is my favorite game, said no one ever. <laughs> I mean, statistically, it's gotta be someone's favorite. Some little five-year-old who doesn't know better. Oh, right? hey, Calcium, that's cool. Hey, you wanna play this Sonic game? Oh boy, my first video game! And then he never played another game again. Yeah, he just turned off of gaming. He's mentioned this in a couple of of Vinny's stream, but can you imagine those poor kids who got, like, uh, who got, as their first video game, something like Action 52? Fuck me! That'd be or, or those plug-and-play collections of really, really shitty rip-offs of games. And that was their first and only experience in video games. They just never played again. Because of some, like, some older uncle or grandma or something who said, Hey, it's a video game. All video games are the same. He won't know the difference between a good game. All video games are the same. All racing games are the same, Zorog. Shinies mean nothing now in Sudden Moon. Isn't, isn't there an item that a Pokemon can hold that increases the chance of Shinies appearing? I thought they made that a thing. What would that be called, if it actually exists? It's like a shiny token or a shiny wing or something, I don't remember. Shiny token. Dude, my first video game was a plug-and-play Spongebob game. I am so sorry. Oh my gosh. July 10th, we christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Mew. Oh! There's actually lore! Yes, the one place in the game you can find lore. I'm out of PP. Shiny Charm is what it's called, he says. Ah. It only increases the rate slightly, but eh, whatever. I did you say shinies mean nothing in Sun and Moon now, but I mean as far as I'm concerned, they never meant anything before. The shittiest lore I ever read was like in this flash game called Arise. It's like a it's like a series of like four games. Oh muck! I could use you! You get all, like, 420 Pokemon captured, you get a shiny charm. Are there really 420 Pokemon? 420, bro! In the Alolan Pokedex? Wait, what day is it? Uh, 415. Damn, I got five days till 420. How am I gotta come up with a stick. With a 420 stream. We can, we can play we can play the game where you farm pot. Yeah? I was gonna make a joke, but I can't remember the name of the game. The farming game that everyone's big on right now. Farmville? No. Stardew, Stardew Valley. Valley. That was it. Yeah. I don't have it. I caught a muck. Will you guys ever lay a plug-and-play and play- or plug-and-play game? Ah, uh, we have to find one first. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to the idea. I've played, uh... I've done a few streams in the past of weird PC games, and I have some more that are to come eventually, when I get around to them. Just various old PC games. Yeah. I play obscure RPGs, and, uh... Gee, you make it sound like Muck does not enjoy his sludge existence. <laughs> Help me, uh... I mean, the hallways in this, build in this building are shit. Where? Why? The way you need to go is up to the left. Up, up. It's in there. Where's the switch for it? I don't know, somewhere. The switches only apply to the floor they're on, so there's okay. a switch in this room. I missed it. These, these battles are really wearing me down, bro. Yeah, the encounter rate is pretty obnoxious in this game. I should I should have just grabbed some uh, repels and like. Not that it's much better in later games. <laughs> 
Juggler withdrew Hypno because that was a great idea. Is Juggler going to withdraw Kadabra? Fuck, I should get out of here. There's a Pokemon with the ability Fuck Off in Sun and Moon. Really? It's, it's not literally called Fuck no, Off. But... obviously. It's called Emergency Exit. When its HP gets below half, without any input from the trainer, it'll leave and you have to put out a different Pokemon. Wow! I, I, are these Pokemon really strong? Yes. Of course. It's the Gyarados of the game. Use the escape rope! Someone else exists. I will donate my plug-and-play Spongebob game for you. Oh, okay. You will?! It's the 20th anniversary watching every episode of the Pokemon anime, you mean? Or the Spongebob Squarepants, uh... There's a video of this guy surfing for two minutes with no encounters and no repels on. Are you talking about, like, Pokemon speedruns? I'm, I'm lost. Where's the conversation? Alright, we're... Max Repel, here we go. We're at two and a half hours. We should probably stop when you beat the fire gym, you think? Uh, you want me to... Well, I'm still stuck on the fucking mansion. You want me to oh, just yeah. hit the fire gym? Uh, you can't until you get through the mansion. Try go. I'll, try entering the I'll gym. I'll hit the McMansion. Try entering the gym. The door is locked! You need to find a key! Haha! -ha! Double lock. Why would he lock his own fucking gym? Like, is that legal in the Pokemon League? Can you just say, no, no one is allowed to fight me? <laughs> Doesn't that defeat the purpose of being a gym leader? I, I guess. Isn't there like a scene in like, uh, in like, Crystal where you beat a gym leader and the gym leader like refuses to give you a badge? Yes, no, maybe. Ah, huh, what? What? Sorry. Uh, isn't there a scene in like, wait a minute, this was closed before. Okay, well that's the way you need to go up those stairs. Why? What? It's weird. Okay. It's a good thing no Pokemon are suddenly just humping at me. I found iron. Good. All right. I know. Bl I know. Blaine gives riddles. He does that in his gym too, but he has the door locked. And it's kind of like, uh, it's the same with Giovanni, too. His gym is just inaccessible. So if you want to, you know, challenge a gym leader and get your badge, too bad, I'm on vacation, come back later! <laughs> Sorry, folks, we're closed for two weeks to clean and repair America's number one family fun park. Closed indefinitely. Well, and then it's like... I like how in the Pokemon games, you get all the fun of, you know, pursuing the championship without any of the responsibility. Yeah. Like, you don't need to hang out in the champion room for people who, you know, come to challenge the league and get to you. No, fuck that. You're the champion. You can do whatever you want. Welcome to Wish Fulfillment. You can just fl run around the Pokeverse. Never go back to the Pokemon League again. You can't lose your title if no one is ever able to challenge you, right? <laughs> No one's ever gonna challenge me, it's not worth it. Have you watched the Pokemon Sun Moon anime? I have not. No. I know it exists, and I know it actually looks different. Like, the animation style is different from the previous series. Also, Team Skull exists in there. Yo, yo! Yo, yo, yo. Oh, that was a cool noise. That was... The game just kind of had, a, like, a seizure for a second there. Yeah, takedown's really good. You challenge people as a champion in Sudden Moon, people come challenge you. <gasps> I mean, I've That's been- That's so good! I've been champion for a little while, and I've yet to be challenged, but then, I haven't gone back to the, uh... I haven't gone back to Indigo Plat- or the, the place, the champion place, so... Oh no! Why does this exist?! The right. Is there any items in here? No, there's not. Okay. Okay, go back to where the scientist was. You sadistic. And go- Go down the left side, not the right side. Okay. The left side! <laughs> he 
you. Well, I... better start walking back up. <laughs> God damn it. I tried to be very clear. You did. You you tried. I wasn't listening. Have you guys streamed Sun and Moon? We lack sadly. Hey, yeah, we streamed Moon at the start of this stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we threw it off a camera. No, we haven't played it yet. I I've played. I Moon. haven't played it yet. I. But we do not have the technology to stream Sun and Moon because. Oh, shit. Uh, Need to reapply my uh, my my bug spray. I do not have the two hundred fifty dollars to modify my 3DS for streaming, unfortunately. Not yet. I'm know. I'm very interested in doing so. I just can't afford it. Yes. We're not popular. If we were no. popular, we'd be getting money out the ass. We no. have like Patreon or rich. They don't give you a great battle. All the challengers suck ass. Yeah. I mean, Pokemon Moon was the first game that I went through blind, in that I played the first three or four, I played the first four generations several times over, and I always plan my playthroughs in advance before doing them. Like, I know what party I'm gonna have, what moves I wanna have them by the end of the game, and the whole game is just me striving to reach that point. Because <laughs> you're, because you're badass, apparently. Well, that's just the way I like to play it. I like to have goals. But Sun and Moon, well, Moon is the one I own, was the first time I went through the game just winging it. And it was actually very challenging doing so. <laughs> because I was perpetually underleveled. What was that TM I just got? Anything decent? I remember this being meh. TM05. Mega Kick, okay. Not bad, but I don't need it. Let's do this. I'll give you my shiny starters for you to stream with. I, I, that's nice of you, but as I said, we can't stream Moon. We can't. We don't have the tech. We want to, but I, I really want to, but we can't. I do have Ash Greninja. I, after beating the game, I remembered, oh, hey, I can get that from the demo. So I played the demo and I got that. Okay, where is the... Okay, I think I have to push the rock down from the above this floor This is a here. bunch of drugs just scattered about this mansion. Well, yeah, it's like, this is a place where science is done. We're doing research on legendary Pokemon from South America. Don't go down there. That's the exit. Okay. You gotta flip the switch somewhere. Or something. Oh, know. this is the stairs. Yeah. I knew you had to do something. I'm smart. I guess so. It's a good thing these Pokemon just aren't- Ah! There's one man to get through. Better be worth it. Do I have one of these? Can I check my Pokedex here? I assume you don't. No, I'm not- The box is full! Fuck! Nope, don't just send it to the next box, you just can't catch any Pokemon. I don't- I don't know when that was changed. I think it was like that for several generations. Like, that's two so, and three are still gonna be like that. so dumb. Yeah, I agree. Okay, this- Damn it, juggler. Are you a juggler? Drugs. Drugs! Yep, you're a juggler. Wow, my memory is spot on. What the hell? Oh, my accuracy fell. Fuck that, I'm leaving. If you have it, you see a Pokeball by its name. Not until Gen 2. That was not in this game, that feature. Which sucks. Yeah, it was a very useful feature. Yeah, just die already. Come on. I know Gen 3 fixed it for sure. Can you, uh... You can catch a Pokemon with a full box in Gen 3 and it'll send it to the next box. I don't think I've ever encountered that issue in Gen 3. Wait, so Reflect? Know. Is that useful? It's drastically increases your physical defense. So if you're worried about Sans being one-shotted, it'd be good. Hmm. Since that's his only weakness, it's physical moves. Well, what do I got? I got Recover. You need Flash. I, I, I can't get rid of Flash. Do you need Psybeam and Psychic? Okay, fine. I'll get rid of Psybeam. <laughs> I, should, I should probably clone up some Elixirs. You've basically, you basically got Mewtwo's moveset now. Is Recover, Reflect, Psychic. It's a good moveset. You guys need to see the anime. They're doing the anime good. Oh, are they? 
But they finally- it took them 10 years. No, no, not even 10 years, 15 years. Yeah. I've tried on several occasions to rewatch the anime from the beginning, and I, I can't make it through season one. I keep trying and failing. It's so this bad! Is Ash oh. is so terrible! Ash is a terrible human being. He's just a character just made to make four-year-olds who don't know shit about the game feel better about themselves. I think he, I actually saw, like, one episode of, like, an animated adaptation of, like, uh... Of, like, oh, you the one with, uh, with Blaz Blaziken. One of the... That was the Gen 3. Gen 3. And Ash actually knows his... Like, kind of, sort of knows his shit. By then, but, yeah. But, yeah, just, like... Like, she, he's instructing, like, the female trainer that May just, like... Maybe like, I'm gonna catch this Pokemon by throwing a Pokeball at it. Ash is like, uh, don't think it's a good idea to immediately throw a Pokemon there. Shut up, Ash! Throws it. Doesn't work. Uh, yeah, you need to weaken him first. Unless it's a quick ball. <laughs> Which they introduced at some point, and in Gen, in Sun Moon, they're just broken. <laughs> you can just throw a quick ball at anything. Start of the battle, full health, it'll catch it. <laughs> Like, 90% of the time, a quick ball just works. <laughs> so, uh, it's a good thing they managed to make Master Balls so prevalent. Yeah. See, you, what you're talking about, you're just talking about Master Balls. Basically, yeah. Where am I now? What? You want me to answer that? You're just a lost thief looting the building. God. This place is just wrecked. Yeah. Bubble Beam, let's go. I probably don't need to be saving as often as I am. It's a force of habit. Yeah. Will I change Pokemon? I heard rumors of a child prodigy. Oh, so you've heard of me, huh? I like how the cool trainers in Gen 1 have fucking whips. <laughs> Those are cool. That's what makes that's what makes them good trainers. They fucking whip their Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get this guy out before. Uh, well, the situations where I'm like Xan and I'm like thinking, WHY DID I THINK OF THIS BEFORE?! Xan of the learning AI. Yeah. <laughs> every time- every new one We're is like, totally okay. WHY DID I THINK OF THIS BEFORE?! I mean, his ideas do get progressively less stupid over the course of Code Lyoko. Yeah, it's brilliant. Nope, you can't walk behind that statue. It's slightly too All high. Alright, this is TM. Ah, I just got that one. What was it? I already forgot. Five Blizzard, that's what it is. Uh, not thank you. Not yet. Ice Beam is better, but Blizzard is still obviously a good, you know, ice move. Yeah. Alright, what does this one do? Ah! Did I forget to refresh my, my, uh, repel? You, I, I don't, I didn't see. You know Eevee gets a, uh, gets a grass-type form later on? Oh, really? What, Leafeon? And it's not activated with a Leaf Stone? Oh, a how leaf, is it activated A then? Leaf Stone does nothing to Eevee. That's weird. What is, what happens then? In Gen 4, the way you evolve into the new Eevees is by leveling them, leveling them up in certain environments. Oh, man, that's... That. If, if it's near a Moss Rock, it gets a Grass Form. If it's near an Ice Rock, it gets a, uh, Ice Form. What if it's near nowhere? Then you just nothing happens. So it's implied in the Pokemon universe that Eevees are just really adept at changing with their environment. They basically really unstable genetic makeup is the excuse. <laughs> so if you were to take it to space and like evolve it on a space station with no gravity, oh that'd be so cool, a space Eevee. A space Eevee. <laughs> It would either be one of two things. It'd be either Eevee with, like, a bunch of, like, uh, ex additional limbs because it's, like, a no-gravity no environment and it, you need extra limbs to, like, grab onto stuff. <laughs> you just made me imagine an Eldritch Abomination yeah. Eevee. Yeah, it's still has Eevees. Or it's just an Eevee in a space suit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. It, yeah, it's, a uh, it's, a uh, ast it's, a uh, Asterion. It's Mew 3! Giovanni, you just put Mew 2 in some cool battle armor. No! It's Mew 3! <laughs> this is Pikachu and it's surfing and it's totally different! This is Pikachu. 
That's like the time I saw a picture of like a of like somebody uh, making a bunch of like fake Pokemon, like obviously fake Pokemon stuff, like making fun of that. Yeah. And one of them was literally just a Digimon with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen uh? <laughs> There, there obviously there are videos of lists of all of the the fake Pokemon people claimed were like leaked or that were hidden in the game and shit like that early on. And there's one of them that's oh, what's it called? It was like Rev Revenant or something. Revenant! Oh, Edgelord Pokemon! And it looked like a fucking Final Fantasy monster. <laughs> it was like death with a sight. You or know something. what? If that, if like, that, that should be a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon that's just all into cosplay, and it dresses up like over-the-top Final Fantasy villains. Yeah. And it's like, it's like some kind of, like, dog or something. Like an early Final Fantasy villain. Wasn't the, wasn't the villain of, like, Final Fantasy 1 or 2 literally death? I feel like I that was so. a thing. I think so. you know, it, it takes loved ones away, so it's gotta be evil. Not like a natural thing that occurs, right? Oh, yeah, I found explosion. I like I like uh, more modern uh, representations of death as just as just like a force that's like here to guide you to somewhere else. Oh bloody hell! You would have to be a squirrel, wouldn't you? <laughs> You're one of those special cases like cats. Fucking hate squirrels. There's this uh, there's a show I really like watching on Comedy Central called Ugly Americans. I've seen it. I think I saw the whole first season. Oh, how would you think of it? It was okay. It was, it was comparable to an Adult Swim show. Yeah, it's like... Wasn't it by... It was by the same guys as Super Jail. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Same animation studio, at That's least. cool. It was a much, much drier than Super Jail. Yeah, it was... I liked it because it was like... Fuck it. It treated the absurd very casually. Yeah, it's like, you got... The guy's girlfriend was a succubus and his roommate was a zombie. Yeah. But you remember that episode where, uh, where... Where for a party trick, uh, the main character kills himself. And then the he wizard to... was like, was like, I'll cast, I cast a resurrection spell on you. You'll be fine. And, and then, then after he dies, he's in heaven, and the guy has to go then, through no, a spell. The Grim Reaper's like there, and just like, okay, so you're gonna come back to life, but since you killed yourself, I gotta show you what your life would be like if, uh, you know, you weren't around. It's just part, of, part of the deal, part of my job. I have to, you know. Can show you the sacredness of life and all that. <laughs> it's so great. That, that show was really good. Yeah. Uh, it... Do you guys play Smash on Wii U or 3DS? Uh, well, I mean, I did say that we could not stream 3DS, so, so yeah, we play the Wii U. Option. We play the Wii U version. Is this the key? No, it's some other guy. Fuck it! I wanna, I wanna get the fucking key and leave. I didn't see who he was uh, about to send out. Look at Okay. Should I show him the Gan Gan? Uh, no. I want to link him to the Gan Gan. Fine. Well, you, you I'll send it to our channel. It's one of our most popular videos. I'll send it after the stream. Ah, oh, he shocked me! Or you could go to Fort Seed Studios on YouTube and look up the Gan Gan. Or it's, it's in our most... It's in our popular ones. Yeah. You could play... I would be mildly interested in having Smash for the 3DS just because of some of the different game modes, but uh, I, I do not have it. Is Jack like half bald? Uh, his hair comes- Right now, no. His hair comes and goes. When the heat really starts uh, hitting uh, the Pacific Northwest, that's when it'll go again. You've got your winter hair right now. Yeah. Your winter fuzz. Yeah, you fucked with your physical attacks! Yeah! Perfect timing! Oh, you use Reflect? Yeah. Will that be enough? Oh yeah, it was enough! <laughs> Face Nothing. Tank. Considering that it eliminates cada at cadavers, abracada- Alakazam's literally one weakness. You know, Reflect's a pretty good move for him. I keep forgetting to, uh, to break- to keep my defenses up. Hello, Legendary Bird, I'll see you later. I don't think I duplicated my master balls, and I uh, I don't. You should. Play. Yeah. The one like legendary bird I caught was Moltres. I didn't go out of my way to catch the other two for some reason. 
Is that a PC? Oh no, that's a statue. You guys have one of those mail things, I forgot. Mail things? Mail thi- M-A-L-E? M-A-I-L. Okay. I I'm not sure what he- what he means You mean like that. a- you mean a public mailbox? We should have like a-, a if we don't have- do we have a official, like, web address for- No, we don't- we haven't made a website we or should. anything. Like a G we should, uh, like an email account for our. Uh, oh yeah, we have a we have an email address, but he's talking about a physical address to send the plug and play to. Oh, we gotta set we gotta set up a PO box then. I, yeah, I guess we could. Would it be that bad if people knew our address? Maybe. I I, I just want there to like. Afraid of stalkers. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ah. Uh, hey, I hear you guys didn't like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm gonna kick your ass! <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass! Or, I don't know, some other- wasn't there something we were talking bad about this stream? Oh yeah, there was like the dude who uh, was like harassing you when you were playing Awesome Nods. He was like, just, like, watching your stream and doing his best to like, fuck with you. No, 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 I was talking about, like, this Pokemon stream. Oh. We Maybe? I don't remember. Other than obviously seasons one of season one of the Pokemon anime, which sucked. Pokemon. Fight me, bro. I'm growing weary of getting lost. No, we do not have a PO box, but if you're if you're really interested, I can I can send I can give you the address if Jack later if Jack approves. Of course I approve. Send uh. Send us an email at fourthseatstudios at gmail.com. Which should be listed on the Twitch page here. Wow, our first our first gift. That's that's really nice of you guys to make that offer. Thank you so much. Yeah. I wanna hear about that guy harassing you. It, we we moved past it. There was another the thing that got us, you know, kind of biggish. Or got, got most of our followers has been awesome knots. I've streamed that a lot and I'm very active yeah. in the community. We helped out, like, and that's another story. And there was, there was another Awesome Not streamer who was very salty to me for a while. But he has since moved past that, and we're now, you know, on very friendly terms with another each other, so. <laughs> Come on, I wanna... I'll see if I still have the plug-and-play, because I'd love to see you guys play it. Oh, I right. think... That'll I be a great stream. I saw Vinny do a Spongebob plug-and-play. I wonder if it's the same one. It's is it the one where his nose is the joystick? There's probably more than one of those. Alright, I am... You uncomfortably move Spongebob's nose to play, yep! Yeah, hey! We totally play that! I, I don't- I haven't seen that stream yet, so I'd be, I'd be going in blind. I think it only has like three or four games on it. That'd be good for like, like an hour. All right, max repel. Okay, there we go. Give me a chance to do my uh, my best Squidward and Patrick voices. Hey. Only two characters I can kind of do. I have to my, my 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 primary kids on the school bus. I'm a school bus driver. Just are constantly asking me to do just various voices from things, half of which I've never heard of. And I have been asked to do minion voices. I don't know what the fuck minions sound like. Solar beam! Oh yeah, takes two turns to activate. Oh, uh, get him a can learn it! Because of course you can. Grass isn't that useful. No. At Grass least starters are apparently... It's no more useful than water is anyway, and you already have someone who knows surf. Home free! Finally! Fuck! get your hopes up. I don't know if I still have it. Oh, that's okay. We will not accept any expectations, but there's a very generous offer of you. The, the thought is what counts in this situation, and we do appreciate it. What? Where am I at? Can I teach counter to somebody and have it be worthwhile? Oh, I need to, uh... Damn it. So, counter only works if you're the... First or slot or second slot? Uh, I think how counter works is it doesn't always go second. If the opponent attacks first, 
Maybe it does always go second. If the opponent attacks you and you take damage, then you will then return twice that damage. Uh, or something along those lines. Uh, dang it. I don't know if that'd be worth it. Toxic! No, I don't I've got anybody. Oh man, that was the PP recovery move. I could have used that. Oh well. What, like, uh, ether? Yeah. Because I don't know if you can buy ethers. You cannot in this game. Fuck! I, I think I just used the last one. Does Jack really have the same type of Pokemon? I don't know how the sprites work when checking your Pokemon. There are only like five or six different types of Pokemon sprite sprites in this game, but yes, he does have all the same sprite types. All catty Pokemon, bunch except of, for the dragon. Yeah, a bunch of dragonish dudes. What are mine like? I don't have a single one that's the same. No, you cheer. No, I mean, I don't. All six of mine are different. Oh, yeah. I have cow like, I have dragon like, I have sea, ball, snake, and fairy. I wonder if that's all the. I think there are some other sprites. Shouldn't have used that escape rope, because now I gotta walk all the way back. Oh, I'm out of. Okay, I fire spin. The bugs have a, have a weird looking one. Oh, nope, goddammit. Hit! God damn it, son butt. Land your fire. Alright. I'll nope. leave soon. You're just gonna get punked out by a fucking parasect that's four times weak to you. There we go. Okay. It's up and down. You can never buy ether. Not even in Sun Moon. Oh. Why? I want to leave. You can sell ether in Sun Moon. You oh can, my you god. Do not have dig. Oh my fucking god, I'm trapped here. Do you not have dig? I do not have dig. Imagine if permadeath was still on. Is there not a uh Is there not a statue in this room? No, there isn't. You could, I guess, hit the statue in the previous room, see if that helped. It, it has to work. Otherwise, you couldn't get out. Yeah, that's true. Alright, and that... Next. Yeah, oh, well. next. oh, you just duplicated a bunch of those. No, I bought a bunch of those. Oh. I duplicated a bunch of nuggets. So, the on the left. Oh, yeah. I, want, I did it so that on I could the left. Get... Down. D down to... What? Why? Down in the room. You need okay. to get the statue. You the need statue to you the up there, too. Okay, well, I guess that would lock me in, so... Yeah, this okay. one's closer. And, yeah, it would lock you in. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Oh, shit, you're almost dead. I gotta, I gotta keep your... Nope, just... I don't need to hit my attacks. Fuck that. This is also a thing of mine, is that I'm... I'm extremely stubborn in swapping out my Pokémon, even if I'm at a sore disadvantage. I really want that the Pokémon I have out to get the experience. Meanwhile, I'm cautious. Ah, oh, dang it. Where are you? Okay, where are you going? I got... It oh, went down and I was right. holding up. Sorry, there we go. Gotta get out. Can't find the exit. Can't find the exit. How to get burned! How to get burned! How to get burned, how to get burned! Well, well that's it. I, I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm, uh... I've escaped, uh, the, the mansion with the key. Get him, you Chiru! Fuck it, I'll go into the Pokemon Center. You better heal first. Yeah. Oh, come on, you withdraw while I fly. Ooh, he's got a chance here. <laughs> there are a couple Pokemon with gimmick stat sets, and Chansey is one of them. Oh, she really? has, like, 250 HP, which, you know, the maximum is 255 as a base stat. Yeah. And, uh, like, five attack, five defense. So, the, the ultimate min-maxer, Chansey. Yep. <laughs> Top three most overused Pokemon nicknames. Godzilla the Tyranitar, Shellshocked the Blastoise, Robin Hoot the Decidueye. I would have to disagree. Obviously the most the most overused name is uh, Penis the Metapod. 
Sephiroth the whatever Pokemon you want here. I would. What if there were a po what if there were a Pokemon called Stampede? Then you could have Sephiroth Goku, the Stampede. Ah! Damn it! That got me. Are we done? Or ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. I healed, and uh, I'm gonna see if we can. I I can come back in the middle of the uh, Victory Road. Yeah, I I I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm. I'm All right, hungry. so I will uh I will finish Victory Road next time, and Jack will take on the Fire Gym, and we will make more progress. Hopefully, yes. the next time we'll see one of us. Finish the finish fucking the elite game. four, yeah. Thank you all for joining us. The actual people who actually did join us. We had a, a. It was nice to have a conversation in chat. Usually we don't have many chat members. Yeah. So uh, check out our YouTube. Drop us an email, and we'll see you later. Take care.